Hey, good morning. Uh, welcome back. It's cycle 444 on Eddie Monroe's Imagination Station. I think a lot of our, our base systems are almost there. Uh, we, we need to tame one more um, steam vent, right? And then we want to tame that uh, hydrogen vent as well. Maybe do um, a bit more uh, farming, get a bit more food. But we can start, um, I think we can start strip mining um, Crudini. Sending some of the uh, materials back, right? We got this industrial brick now that we're cooling. And if I remember right, yesterday we were filling uh, this thing up with uh, polluted water, right? To cool it for now until we get some uh, super coolant. At some point, I'm sure we'll get some super coolant. Look at how uh, well we've done with the CO2. It's come right down. I guess we are not only uh, venting it, but uh, we're uh, skimming it as well. We are skimming it. So it is disappearing. Uh, we can get down into here eventually <clears throat> and use uh, some of this heat, some of this heat from these volcanoes uh, to make a big um, industrial sauna if we want one, if we want to do a lot of our industry here. We don't have to. We could see how things look on Crudini. Uh, we probably want to get down in here and check this thing out. And then, of course, there's all this magma at the bottom, which is red hot. If we need heat for anything, which, uh, you know, there's, a pro there's probably a couple of things that we could use a lot of heat for. Such as, um, we're going to have too much polluted water, I think. Way too much. In fact, we're, we'll overflow on it, probably. Uh, so what we could do is start uh, pumping excess polluted water into uh, some sort of uh, really hot chamber where we can uh, get rid of all the germs and um, I mean not that it, it doesn't matter much I mean there's there's food poisoning germs in this polluted water but if we want to, if we send it through a sieve we can uh, we can turn it into normal water or we could put it into a hot chamber and let it uh, and let it uh, flash into steam and then I think we'd get some polluted uh, dirt back from it too so there's a couple of different things that we could do there um, and then I think we're just going to keep uh, putting stuff that generates heat in here. So power transformers and stuff. And then if we ever want to expand this, uh, we can. There's room to expand it out this way. There's room to expand it down here if we want to. Uh, it doesn't really matter what's in here. There's carbon dioxide in here now, but equally there's some polluted oxygen. There's a tiny bit of hydrogen in here as well. And, uh, and who cares what else, honestly? Like it's, it, it's meant to just contain all of the dirty, shitty gases that we don't want to do anything with, you know? Yeah, the colony's still alive. I'd say, actually, the colony is not just still alive. It's thriving. It's, it's better than it's ever been, you know? It's so good. It is so good. Um... We have how many minor volcanoes? It looks like three. I can see one of them we've uh, we've we've hit, and then uh, there's this one and and this one. Don't really know what to do with uh, the minor volcanoes. Not 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 sure at all what to do with them. I think we're almost at the point where they don't need uh, to wear uh, these masks um, past uh, this point, right? Because we got all of this oxygen out here that they could be breathing. Uh, I mean, we have more oxygen available as well if we want. There's loads of it up here. There's, it's all over the place. There's a little bit of polluted oxygen that's made its way to the top. And then, of course, there's quite a bit over here, which we could start cleaning up, actually. Maybe we'll do that now. Start cleaning this up. Get some deodorizers down. Um, it looks like it's possibly just still leaking out of here right so here in here we want to put uh, rot I was gonna put rot in here rot piles and we can put these on a get the rot out of the base we want we don't want rot inside our base right okay and we'll mop up some of this stuff it looks like we're melting through this whole biome here. Well, we have, it's still five degrees. It's still fairly cool over here. You're here to, you're here to science? Man, me too. God, I love science. This thing should be erupting again soon. Four cycles. So we'll get a little bit of extra power through here. 
Um, we want to keep an eye on this system here, the hydrogen that's coming out of these. I think what we're going to do is we're going to hook this. We might change this around, I think, because we can actually do more here. We can do... For, for two electrolyzers, we can actually get four pumps. So we might change it around a little. Um, be a little bit more efficient. Uh, and then with the hydrogen that comes out of these, we're just going to dump them into this. This thing is just going to eat hydrogen and top up the grid wherever it can, right? Because we've got all, we've got all this um, uh, hydrogen in the gas reservoir. Probably need to start cooling this. So we're going to need some uh, turbines and stuff for that too. It's 185 degrees right now. And actually, it's using up uh, more space than it needs to as well. We could probably condense it down, put the pump like down here, maybe, and condense it down to like these two levels, and then we free up a little bit of space. But we'll have to wait for its next dormancy period if we're going to do that. And that's happening in 48 cycles. So that could be a, a future one. In the meantime, we can get all of the stuff that we need to get this thing, um, this thing rocking, right? What do we need? We need a steam turbine over here and an aqua tuner, basically. I think everything else uh, I've got the stuff for, pretty much. We got the, the pump going in. We got all of this set up. That water that's coming out will go directly into here. And then the aqua tuner, we just need to fill up with a bit of uh, polluted water. And uh, and probably vent out this uh, this chamber. I mean, we can start doing that now. Uh, we might as well, right? Let's let's make a start. We'll make it use up uh, this space here. I mean, this it's an odd shape actually. It could go all the way down uh, to here. We could put it next to here, in fact, um, and then just um, have the have the space. How do we want to get in here? And how do we want to, maybe we'll just do it up here actually, it could be easier to do it like this. So we'll have, um, we'll have the thing here, like so. One, two, three, four, five. Or we could put it one, two, three, four, five. That could work too. All right, so you jump in through here. And then let's put this like so. And then we'll draw. We'll just drop a little drop of water here, and then we can get um, some of this oxygen out of here. The oxygen that's not included. Utilities. We need another thermal aqua tuner, so we're going to need at least 600 more steel, which is great because uh, once this system is ready to go, we can start using it here. And then it'll just be a case of trying to get this um, these coal generators out of here too, right? And then we'll have nothing that's producing CO2 out here. Be really good. What's the goal with Crudini? I think we're just going to strip mine it. I don't think there's much over there that we would uh, need, right? If you look at Crudini, it has a salt water geyser, a natural gas geyser, and liquid sulfur. I don't know... Uh, I mean, natural gas we could pump back over here and uh, and and use it for power. Equally, we could just power Crudini with natural gas because it's uh, it's it's not an involved process, right? It's just the natural gas geysers are easy to tame. You chuck a pump on them, you hook them up to. Uh, we could just make another like uh, brick in there, and then um, we could refine some metals over on. Uh, Arborista and send it back to Crudini because we got the teleporter right, and then I think we're gonna want to we're gonna want to try to find out what these things are here. They might be easy ones for us to get to with like a a little a little ship, one little ship. Un un ship. One, une, une, une petite ship. 
All right, down here is basically just going to collect um, loads of water. So we could probably get some storage in here for um, for some of these tasks. We could get some of our metal and stuff stored down here. We might as well. We could make it out of uh, granite too. Who cares? Like, they can go down in here, no problem. And then at least our, our, our tidiers and sweepers can start uh, moving some of this shit over here. We'll put all of our uh, ores and stuff that we're going to want to uh, put through the metal refinery, right? Do 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 do. Robotics research desk. This stuff can all be demolished and deconstructed. This thing we can't deconstruct. The rest of this we can. Um, if we want to keep slicksters, we're gonna need um, we're gonna need a, a a warmer space for them. I think uh, it's too cold in here. We might have to just reimagine the slickster pen. I think. Maybe put some automation in there as well for the eggs and whatnot. There's a lot of CO2 that we can pump into there. Okay, I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna actually just plumb some of this in here too. There's so much polluted water down here. Actually, this polluted water is pretty cold too. Alright, so in here we want metal ore. Let's get... Um, Let's just get all of our metal ore in here. So that it's not sitting around on the ground. This polluted dirt is not emitting because it's so overpressured in here. It's also 64 degrees, this polluted dirt. I'll drop all this stuff down too. Um, hey, guess what? Good news. I watched the rest of The Last of Us. I took the plunge. I figured, you know what? I watched most of it. I want to see it through, so I watched the rest of it, and I'm glad I did it. The The ending was, was of season one was pretty good, actually. The last of the rest of us. I watched all of Fallout as well, yeah. So now I'm, uh, I'm like, in between shows. I don't know what to watch next. I think I'll try, I'll start watching Shogun. I still haven't seen Andor either, uh, which is also on the list. Andor, Shogun. Um, what else? Is Fallout worth it? Yeah, I, I loved it. I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I thought they did a great job. They did a, uh, they did a, a great job of um, bringing the, the games to life through the show. It was, it was really well done. In my opinion. I mean, I, not everybody agrees. There's a lot of people, I think people who were really, really big fans of uh, New Vegas had some qualms with it, but 
Otherwise, I think it's been generally really well received from what I can tell. People seem to like it. Received an NG's an NG's tune-up. Do they spend a lot of time scrounging for scrap in the show? Um, not really. No, like not 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 as much as I would have liked. But there is still a bit of scrap scrounging happening for sure. Like you, you can't avoid it. There was a disturbing lack of meat factory building as well. There was, yeah. Yeah. I guess it's just up to me to make another one, but... I don't mind, either. I don't mind making another one, actually. It's it's like one of my favorite things to do. Alright, so this uh, is done, and actually I left it... Uh, I left it, it take too much. So we're going to have to empty some out, because we don't want this loop... Well, actually, maybe it doesn't matter if this loop here is full. It will heat up a little bit, but it just means that once this thing is uh, started, it can uh, immediately go for it. Go for it. Alright, and then we just want to sever this connection here. That's fine. And we want to put this one back to what it was, because this is the this is the hot stuff that needs to be cooled slightly. So I need to make um, about six hundred steel, six hundred kilograms of steel. Oh, and in here as well, let's have the refined carbon as well. Alright, so that means that we can deconstruct this. This can be deconstructed. back some of these resources. What's coming through here now? 200 kilograms of glass. Yes. That's good. Do they deconstruct anything and everything when they enter a new settlement? No, they shoot uh, stuff a lot. There's a lot of shooting in the game, though, which you guys will be familiar with. Of course, I used um, my trusty old El Pumpo um, when I played the game and was making the Bone Zone and stuff. Very similar style of um, slaying. They, they, there's no vats, but there is some, there is some, uh, slowed down action shots, which are, it's very vats-like, you know? Giso doesn't have enough deli meats inside the base, and is now starving.
The, uh, they have, um, in the show, they got pit boys and the pit boys make all the same sound effects as they do in the game. I thought that was a nice touch. And they use a lot of the music that we were listening to when we played Fallout 4. I was walking along, minded my business. Da -na 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 -na. Flashbang, Alakazam. Do -de -do -do -de -do. All, like all those, the the extended uh, soundtracks. Uh, a lot of a lot of the songs were in there. Uranium fever. Yeah, there was loads, loads of them. It was really good. Yeah, it was really, really good. Really well done. Waiting for materials? Let's, let's deliver these materials. Let's get these materials delivered. What, uh, what temperature do we want uh, our slicksters to be? How hot do they need to be? Long hair slicksters consume oxygen. Oh, wow. So we've got loads of uh, long hair slickster eggs here as well. So I think, I, I think we're done with slicksters for now until I get more eggs. I fortunately killed all of them. We'll have to get some more from um, Crudini, or just uh, just do all of our oil production in Crudini, potentially. Because I think, actually, Crudini's got some oil um, wells, too. It does. Look, it's got loads of oil reservoirs, which is uh, not uh, immediately apparent by looking at the um, planet on the star map, right? Um, this place gets battered with um, meteor showers as well, which is kind of annoying. Uh, which means that eventually we'll need uh, some some bunkers, uh, some bunker walls at the top, right? Because otherwise it's just going to smash right through and uh, destroy the base. So I have to be a little bit careful. Uh, this salt water, I mean, this salt water we can uh, we can use here as the uh, as a primary source of uh, water for this base. Uh, because then we can make oxygen with it and then keep uh, whoever lives here alive. We'll probably need um, just the basics, I think. We'll get like a, a farmer, maybe a rancher, maybe a farmer slash rancher. I think we'll get um, this opened up. We'll get uh, what's-his-face to open it up when he comes over. And uh, these, two, these two can live over here. And then once he leaves... We can get, uh, on Arborista, let's get um, a backup. Um, I think we got other people that can dig, actually, so it should be fine. There's not that much more to dig over here. I mean, there's a fair bit. I'm lying. I'd be lying if I said that there's not actually that. There is tons, but there you go. If I up the temp, it'll... Oh, if I up the temp in here, these guys will lay the eggs? Okay, well... I still think that maybe we could get a nice colony set up on Crudini and then... Naturally, this colony doesn't need to really do anything with oil, right? We can just send all the oil from Crudini back here since we have the teleporter. It's not like we got to do payloads or anything. It'd be a really easy thing to send back over. We don't need to send anything else back from there liquid-wise. Because this place is fine for water and polluted water. It can make all of its own stuff. It's got brine here, too. I think there's Slicksters over in Crudini already, so we can um, just do some stuff with them there. Alright, we're tidying up. We want to tidy up a little bit. It looks like we made some steel. Still not enough to make the Aqua Tuner, but we're on it. It's getting hot over here. That's okay, we're still doing some active cooling. Everywhere that it needs to be is 
is has is cooled down and we'll move a lot of these power transformers into here as well because this place can handle the heat right because it's being cooled So we still want those things plugged in. In terms of plumbing here, let's um, empty out some of these pipes. That has nowhere to go right now. So this is the, this carbon skimmer will need to be hooked up probably, what's this, where is this going? Oh, that, wait. So this was the cooling loop for brine, right? And that And that's fine, actually. We can still cool that, the brine coming in here when it's, uh, when it's active, right? No, sorry, it's not cooling. It was heating it up. It, the, the brine's too cold. It's like minus 10, right? We didn't want to make, uh, we were having some issues with the water being frozen. Okay, so this pipe, that's fine. This is fine here, although we could maybe move it. So we're going to empty out these pipes, and then we need to hook this up. This thing can't work right now, so we need to, we're going to need to hook it up to probably here, right? So we'll get some plumbing. Do that. It's good to keep it keep it tidy, right? <clears throat> We're making spaghetti. We well, we yeah, we kind of are. But hey, look, this thing is back. Uh, this thing is back in action. So we should get some power from that. Wonderful. Okay, good. Oh. Let's get this tidied up. Deconstruct this liquid pipe. Um, I might need to, um, I might need to make this, um, polluted water tank a bit bigger. Can you believe that? So we're not going to have anywhere for all the, uh, sewage to go from the toilets we're still using three toilets over here so what's actually coming in here right now we've got toilet water and then we're bringing up all of this water but we're also bringing up this water which actually for now is probably not necessary so we'll hold on that We'll hook it back in when we need it. We've got too much polluted water. I don't know what to do with all of it now. Maybe just run it through a, a sieve and make fresh water with it. The fre fresh water, we could keep it topped up that way. But then we're getting water from two um, steam vents here that we're, uh, that we're trying to get tamed, right? Uh, plumbing... Let's put a bottle emptier here. Mm. 
This polluted water has not changed temperature. That's fine, though. It's fine. It does. That doesn't cost us anything. Look, it's back up and running. It's doing it. It's so good. I love that. Yeah, it's cooling down this water a lot. It's great. It's going back in at like 40 degrees. Dumping all this heat out. But then we are we're actively um counter cooling it too. Nice. I love that. That's so good. I guess we'll just grab some sand. We don't need uh actually maybe this place will could benefit from somebody that can do operating, right? But he's a mouth breather and destructive. Rocketry, decorating and cooking. I suppose we'll need somebody who can do rocketry and stuff too, right? I don't think any of these are the ones, though. We need to send um, somebody who's capable of doing science over to uh, Crudini as well, right? So that they can unlock the uh, teleporters, but then they can always come back when they're when they're ready. We can send our science person over, no problem. Hey, Dinshu, thanks so much for the hundred bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Alright, so here we want to do uh, just a bit of water. Seal facts can't find food, apparently. Why are we delivering lumber here? Please don't deliver lumber there. We have automation doing it. And still. Why are you delivering lumber here? Stop doing it. Ugh. Don't you dare. Okay, in these we can store uh, lime as well, right? It might make sense to get um, a thing up here, right? Shipping. An auto sweeper. Ah, uh, there's no room to put it up here, though. We'd have to put it, like...
I put the rock crusher too close. That's ah, okay. They can do... We got a lot of people tidying and delivering and stuff, right? It should be fine. Okay, these eggshells... We can deconstruct this. We're gonna have loads of eggshells down here, but it looks like they just pick them up and take them straight away anyway. Okay, nice. Let's disable this. We can leave this uh, water in here, actually. So we're going to need some uh, water in here. But we'll fill it with... Um, we'll fill it with a, uh, with, a, with a pipe output. Because we've got loads of water, potentially, that can come through. Although, having said that... We're not pumping any of it right now. I think it's too hot. This water is 27 degrees. And there's not enough of it. We're not uh, processing any brine right now either. So we might actually need to flash some of this... Um, polluted water or 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 civet oh, yeah we want to carry we'll carry on with this research while we're waiting for some of this stuff to finish right Advanced sanitation, I guess, is next. Decontamination showers. This thing is still going for 28 cycles. We might be able to start getting some stuff from it. For a quick, we just need another thing of steel, which is coming out now, it looks like. Okay, we've got the steel now. So utilities, aqua tuner. All right. And then plumbing, we want to do um, insulated pipe through here. Then back here. And then we'll cut this here. We also want to have the... Um, oh, I need some more iron. Dovendir. He's our man. Look at him go. That's good. All right. I'll get this done. Okay. And we want a little bit of liquid pipe thermal sensor here which we'll hook up to here and then plumbing we want a bridge run this into here 
run this here. That should be fine. And then for power, we'll need some conductive wire. And this is going to need its own uh, transformer as well, right? Unless... Yeah, we can bring the spine over here. Where can we put this uh, this transformer where it's not going to uh, heat up the rest of the... I mean, we could put it in here, but then we have to run conductive wire, which would be really expensive, all the way back to here. I mean... We could just put the thing in here, but oh, we can't really actually because we'd have to run the uh, the heavy watt into there, right? So we'd have to put it close to uh, close to here. How hot is it around here? I mean, if we have to provide some cooling for the for the area, we'll just have to, I suppose, right? So we need a large power transformer. We can make this thing out of iron. That's fine. I just put it over here, I think. Is Terry attempting a containment breach? Terry's Terry's always attempting some sort of containment breach. All the time. Okay, I'm gonna put a little um a little pumperoonie here. Yes, I've got such a good idea for this little pumperoonie. Okay, where is the little pumperoonie? Ventilation. We want the mini gas pump. We're going to make it out of plastic. We're actually going to put it right here. Does Terry have a social security number? Yes. Terry, what's your social security number? I gots to know. Okay, I think think we can sack off this power here because this stuff does not need to run anymore. So let's claim back some of this and then we'll run the spine over here. Terry's trying to do his big escape move again. He can't go outside today. It's cold. It, it's only 11 degrees outside. There's no sun out either. So he would not, not fare well outside. Okay. Power... Let's move this heavy watt, connect it from here up here, and then here, and then we want conductive wire to go like that. Piss tank is full, you're right. It is nearly full. It's getting pretty close. There is quite a bit coming back into this piss tank. I think it's the... Well, it's the toilets and the it's the uh, skimmers as well, right?
And these ones go back all the way around? There's some sort of weird loop happening here, too. Which does not need to happen anymore. So this is actually going around and doing, providing some cooling and then coming back in to feed these trees. That's like the main thing it's doing. Get a liquid vent in here. We'll get um, some insulated pipe. Oh. Oh, this is going back out this way. I see. All right, hang on a sec. Then we'll have to do a bridge. I think we'll do the bridge for this, actually. <clears throat> so we'll cut this here. And then we'll put the bridge in there. So let's get this liquid bridge in like this. And then we can get the insulated pipe. Like that. That's better. Yeah, Terry's really, I know, Terry's really going at it. Give me two secs.
Oh man, sorry, I'm back. Oh, okay. Terry is being seen to. He's having a soak and he's having a clean and he's, he's in my house now. And it's, there's like a hurricane outside right now too. <clears throat> you thought that Terry killed me? No, I haven't killed Terry either for the record. He's still going. He's <laughs> buried in the garden. No, no, it's too cold out there and it's raining as well. There's no way I'd be out there burying anything right now. I hate the rain. Fuck, I hope it, I hope it doesn't flood in here. That's a really nasty rain. No, I didn't drive him to the in-laws, but I I need to rethink his space in here. I think it's not big enough. He's he's too big now. He needs some more space. I gotta. I think I gotta build some sort of like box for him on the ground. I think part part of the problem is his cage is probably he's probably outgrown it, and he doesn't have anywhere to go to regulate his temperature. You know, because he's got like a basking light, but I don't think he can get away from the basking light in there. No, the rain is not in-game noise. That is, <laughs> that is real-life rain coming down hard. He wants to roam, but I, he can't. Uh, he can't really roam um, outside yet. It's too. Um, it's too cold still. All right, we're gonna need some more iron. It's a shame. Uh, this colony and uh, and the one that we're going to establish on Crudini don't have uh, any access to uh, refined metal. So it's there's going to be some logistics involved with other planets to get metal back here or refined metal back here, especially if this is like our main base. Probably need to. Um, we got some people who are idle. It's not good. We can start mopping up some of this. We'll get we'll get some jobs assigned to these people. Maybe do a little bit more digging. There's loads of stuff that we could dig out. There's all this uh, oxalite here that we could probably store in here. If we wanted to dig that out. We could dig out this whole side. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. And then all the way over here, too. Deconstruct a bunch of this stuff. What's this? Oh, window tile. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll, de we'll deconstruct that for sure. And then we can start uh, digging up everything in between, too. Perfect. All right. We can make a start on that. Okay, this hydrogen is being uh, blasted still. Good. Don't want any excess hydrogen. Our water levels are dwindling slightly. We need to get... Um, ah, here we go. Start pumping this oxygen out of here. Can I make Terry a miniature castle with a pool? That would be great. I think he would really like that. It wouldn't take much, honestly, to uh, to to create him like a big area. I just need a place to hang his uh, his lights and stuff. Cause he's got a um, he's got a UV lamp as well that he needs. Can we do a plastic ladder upgrade? Yeah, we should actually do a plastic ladder upgrade. Could be a nice one too. Let's grab some of these. We do have so much plastic. Why don't we do a nice big plastic ladder upgrade?
All right, we are sending some uh, water back from this now. That's good. We need it. We're running low. I think what we'll do is we'll intercept some of this. Is the lower bridge backwards? No. No, that one's fine. That one's meant to be that way. Uh, it's not going to be pumping out any any water anytime soon. Uh, we do need some um, polluted water into this loop as well. Which I'll do right now. Um, where is it? Where is the... Where is... Where is the bridge? Where's... Where is... The bridge? Cut this off and then delete. All that. Actually, let's cancel that to there and reconnect this. Hello, where is everybody? They're all asleep. Oh my god, there's so many cuddle pips in here. I have to get rid of some cuddle pips. There's too many. Holy shit, what happened up here? Where do they all go? Now he's too good at his job. Purr, purr, purr. Foot sandwich has become such a good constructor, eh? Look at that. The deconstruction.
Okay, we just need a bridge like that. It's gonna fry that, isn't it? This pump needs um, a transformer. It's gonna need a, a different transformer, right? It's just a small one. Power transformer. Um, let's not make that out of iron, actually. Let's make this out of something different something better <laughs> copper of course uh okay we'll hook that in there and then we can put the small wire bridge here That should be fine. Okay, and then we'll put this wire bridge like that. Okay, perfect. Yes! Everything is running very well for now. It's all it's all working. Temperature in here is starting to heat up a little. And the temperature in here will start to heat up soon too. Look, 60 degrees this water, so we'll get some more power from this once these things start going. The temperature of this polluted water has increased a little bit as well. Buildings, background buildings, buildings. Yes. Who's this? Beard Daddy. Nice. Good job, Beard Daddy. Chat, give me two seconds. I'll be right back.
Oh, sorry. Terry is loose in the house. He's living his best life in there. You should see him. You should see him go. He's, he's, he's stomping around in the kitchen. He's going everywhere. He's had, he had a nice soak. He's not in soup. No, I know. Terry is... Ter he's, he's doing it. He's living. Living and loving. Um, holy crap. Look at this. We've done it. There's like... We, we, we've broken the bat. Look at this. It's all breathable here. Oh man, all of that carbon dioxide, and we had so much of it as well. Finally. That is great, chat, is it not? Okay, we want to disable this building now. We do not want to vent oxygen out. How much CO2 in the industrial zone? Oh, tons. Almost 60 kilograms per tile. Well, I've loads of it for slicksters if we want to do stuff with slicksters or just vent it out. I'd, either way. How are the guinea pigs? They're fine too. We cut their nails yesterday. They were very long nails. Nails were getting really long. So we shouldn't have any more slime lung. The oxygen should be eating all of it. There's a little bit of polluted oxygen around still, but not enough to really uh, worry about. It's fine. This is going dormant in 36 cycles. This will be dormant before this has a chance to activate, but at least the work will be done and we can finally tame that. Still a bit of work to do there. We're all backed up right now for water, but we'll be able to pump a load into here soon. Am I running my own petting zoo? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of pips in here again, Jesus. I'll have to do another culling. Uh, why did they just hoover up all of these eggs? Oh, they all, they all fired at the same time is why. Uh. So there's a bunch of eggs spread out, but... They all, uh, they all fired. I think what we can do is potentially we could, um, we could change this around a little bit so that the automation is only on this one and not on these, these other two. And what we could do is with shipping, we could, uh, drop these off from here. So does that have access beyond there? No, okay. So we'd have to do, let me see, shipping, conveyor rail. So we'd have to move this over one. And then, yeah, that should be fine actually. Okay, so look, we'll deconstruct this building. To do the same thing on the bottom because we're gonna run out of uh, hatches at this rate. Okay, and then 
in shipping, we do a conveyor loader here. Let's snip this like that. Go shipping like this. And then this guy here will deliver to a shoot, which means that in shipping, we can get rid of this and these. And then in automation, we get rid of this. And then this guy is on is attached to the automation and then he can pick them up, right? So it's moving them towards where this guy can do it and then if there's too many he can he can uh, regulate the flow. We'll have to do the same thing down here too. How does my base work? It works with um, mostly magic. It's like just a, a, a series of um, of optical illusions and and magic to make the uh, to make the base work. Okay, put him in it's the rail and go like this. Delete this rail. Is this what my pastor calls magic? Yes. Glass. Lime. Lime. We can make glass. Lime is a bit harder to make, right? We'll be able to make a lot of glass soon. That's going to simplify things a lot. Good. Don't forget to fix the automation too. The automation uh, should be fine, actually. Send green if it's above eight. And eight, including eggs. That's what you meant. These guys are cramped yet again.
All right. Let's get some more barbecue made. Let's knock out the uh, rest of these uh, researches as well. Great. So we're on to catalytics, which uh, gives us the molecular forge, oxalite refinery, bleachstone hopper. I don't know if we'd use, but we need some of this stuff for space anyway, right? And then we want to finish up these jobs so they're further away. We've got to fix this automation before we run out of hatches. It's still good to have coal, right, for the uh, refined carbon and just in case we need to use the coal generators as well. We have 111 tons of plastic, and it's all just been made by these uh, these monsters, <laughs> these these absolute monsters. We're gonna have to change this up here too, I think, because we'll we want to keep uh, an amount. Yeah, we can make some transit transit tubes. Would be good. Yeah. So that one's going to hoover those ones up. Uh, you know what? Actually, that's fine. These ones don't... These ones all go up here, so it's fine. We should we should be able to get... Look, we'll have another one down here. That's okay. And then this one here, we want to do the same as here, but we we might want to change some of these tubes. Well, I think we need the uh, the filter for those, right? Because we're going to be collecting not only lumber, but also um, so this one has five, and this one is three. So if I make this one two. Just start moving this and picking more of it up. Oh, good. The mini pump is working. We've started mini pumping. Okay, so we should uh, we should be better for um, for hatches now, right? It shouldn't uh, it shouldn't blast our whole supply of hatches. <laughs> oh, Lubo and Zerko both <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. I forgot we had casualties on this uh, on this colony. I forgot it happened. How do you get new dudes? Yeah, they come out of this uh, printing pod here. Every once in a while, you get to pick uh, the ones that you want, or sometimes you get like some um, some resources instead, or or whatever you want.
it's doing a good job. Look, this thing is act actually pumping this out. And we should be able to not let any more um, oxygen or, or CO2 or anything in there either, right? This, this little lock. So we'll set this to be the same as this one, and this one is above 20 degrees. Oh, I put this on wrong. Whoops. I was wondering why there was no coolant going in there. Um, let's go like this to here, since that's not using anything else. And then, uh, we can cut this off. This goes up to here and here as well. Okay, um, so we'll cut off this to here, this to here, and then we'll run that like that. Should be fine. And then we'll put uh, a little wire bridge here, too. And that's so that we can run the uh, heavy watt wire up to that turbine. Plumbing. So we'll put this in closer to when we're ready to go. We have we have some idleness. Can you believe it? We have two people idle. Erica has nothing to do. Erica, come on. What is what does Erica do? Cooking mostly. Farming next. She's found something to do. Off she goes. She's got her mask on. I don't even know if we really need these masks anymore. Probably get some uh use some of this oxygen to uh to get some more atmo suits into uh into areas that uh that kind of need it, right? We can move like the oxygenated portion of the base down to like where we're working and then for these hot areas force them into wearing atmo suits they'll need them right how much water do i use for steam i don't know i usually just like i usually just fill up the the bottom layer and then let a little bit uh fill up on top because each square is a is a is a ton of water, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I usually just I usually just fill up the bottom, and then let a little bit on the uh, on the top go, and then it's usually enough. It's probably enough now, actually. I don't think we really need much more than this.
Okay, there's a whole other load of water coming in here. I think after this lot, let's uh, reconnect this back up. I think that's enough enough water to turn into steam. All right, so let's um, cut this off and let's remove these and we will connect that back up there. Perfect. Start filling up the tank again. I think that's enough. There's there's loads of water in here. Take those. So these guys, so this this came out of the chute here, and is not being swept up by this. Good. Is everything else plumbed back up to where it needs to be? Looks like it. Okay, so plumbing. We go like this. How hot is it in here? Like 35 degrees? Alright, so we can deconstruct this. Um, and then we can... Snip this. And then I guess we just want to empty all these pipes. Actually, if we just uh, deconstruct this bridge and change it the other way around, we can just uh, pump it all back into here, right? So we want the liquid bridge to just swap sides. And then that'll suck all this back up because this 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 cooling loop has everything it needs in it now. Research? Oh baby. Okay, gas distribution is next. It doesn't need rad bolts. Excellent. So this is done. Oh, um, if that's coming from there, so this goes out. 
I didn't put any cooling for uh, for this thing, which uh, which could be useful actually. If it goes through the aqua tuner and comes out, we might want to cool this first, right? We would need to have a. Oh, it's a bit awkward with the pipe the way that it is right now too. What's the temperature of this water? 66? It's like 80 and 60 degrees. comes out at like 45 but sometimes it's coming out at 80 as well I think it's bypassing every once in a while I think there's like too much water on this there might be just too much water here I think we just need to empty out like one pipe Is trapped. Seal facts is trapped. It's okay. Seal facts can breathe in there. there it's it, it, there's we got oxygen. Okay, let's see. No, it's still weird. Fifty, sixty. It should never bypass. So if it's above 20, it's on, but it's always above 20, right? 70, 60, 60. So occasionally you're getting stuff coming out like 60 degrees here. There's so much of it skipping, though. It should be going in to get tuned. Like, there's loads of it. Does it do that on this side? No, this one seems to be fine. It's definitely hooked up, right? Yeah. Does the, it does it matter where the bridge is? It shouldn't. I mean, I guess maybe it does if it's... So if it goes in at 74, that's coming out at 74 because it's skipping. It's coming out at 68 and 60. Yeah, so it's like skipping every second one. The output pipe is blocked. How? I've set this up the exact same way as I set this one up. Oh, pipe locked. 
output pipe is blocked. Why? Oh, the bridge output. I might be doing this the bridge output wrong. Maybe I am doing that wrong, actually. Let's see. So this bridge output goes... Oh, yeah, it's after the aqua tuner output. So I've got this one going before. So this needs to... Oh, I think I... Yeah, I see. Okay, so we go like this. Right? And I think I I think I need to uh to refill it now too. Unfortunately. Whoa. My bad. My big bad. I did a big bad. Really huge bad. Maybe while I'm doing this, I can do the um, the cooling uh, from here too, right? 20 degree cooling. Uh, so this is going out of here, and then we want it to basically... Um, we want it to cool this machine. So I think what we'll do is we'll put uh, this bridge here instead. No, we don't want that to happen, actually. We want that bridge to happen, like, maybe here, and then we can cool it from in there. Oh, no, we can't do that. That bridge has to go through here, so we'd have to move this other one along somewhere, right? Like if we moved it here and then got another bridge right next to it for the uh, for the cooling pipe to come in through, that would work. We want them along here. But then it would need another way back in down here, right? That's fine. We can just do it like this. Okay, so we'll go, we'll put a bridge here. And then let's put a bridge, say, here. And then I need another one, too. Do I need another one? I'd need one over here. Um, something like that. Basically, we want this to not go into here but rather come back around and go in. So we can get rid of this, and then we want... Insulated pipe here, and then, I guess, in here. Let me just cancel this for now. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's going to have to come back down as well, right? So I think maybe we move this whole vent over, too. Which, what's this that I've got? Liquid vent, okay.
Don't worry, Chad, I know what I'm doing. I don't. I have no idea what I'm doing. Cut this off here. And then we want a um, plumbing liquid vent in here. Right, so in here now, we can go with the output, we can go up here, so we'll cut this off, delete that, and then we're going to go up here instead. So that comes out of here, that comes out of here, that's fine. And then we can move this through here and then we get yes something like that right move this one along here let me queue up some more um iron as well. Don't stand in there too long. It's too hot. Okay, more research complete. Glass blowing. We now have transit tubes, by the way. Transit tubes. I'm pretty hot. Thanks. Thanks, I appreciate that. Our max stress at 10%. Somebody's stressed out. I'm not sure who. It's Giso still. And Dowie's and Sunforest have like the tiniest little bit of stress. Just a little tiny bit of polluted oxygen over here. I'm not I'm not sure why. <laughs> God, there's so much polluted oxygen over here. There's quite a bit up, up at the top of the base here, too. Lots of polluted oxygen. It seems to uh, to go higher than normal oxygen. It seems to be lighter than regular oxygen. That doesn't make sense, does it? You think polluted oxygen would be heavier, right? Would like settle lower? Almost ready to go here. 
Is there anything in here that needs to be removed? Oh, okay, so this is great now because we can put this bridge to fill this pipe now here. And then we don't need to go in there to take it apart, which is really nice. It's working properly now, and then we should get a whole bunch more polluted water in here to fill this up. Okay, that seems pretty full to me. Looks like we're running out of power. So we gotta connect these spines now, because we have two separate um, systems. But we want uh, we want to take from the uh, from the main one too, right? Okay, there's only a little bit of CO2 left in here. There's nothing else in there to pick up. So we're just trying to empty these last little bits of CO2 out. This pump. Maybe it's harder to create a vacuum with this small pump. I don't know. It does seem to be working, though. Oh, oh, yay, oh, that's great. So now we can deconstruct this guy. This water is heating up. We're keeping the steam turbine fairly cool. All right. Oh my god, finally, finally did it. We finally created a, uh, a system for heat management that exists in a vacuum until it's just steam. All the other ones have like traces of other gases and shit in them. <laughs> it's annoying. Look at this. This guy's got some ethanol in here. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> Why did that go that way and not the other way? Oh, man. I spoke too soon. Well, we're just going to have to leave those in there.
I should have swept, yeah. I got too ahead of myself. Ah, we know for next time. Alright, good. This can just keep, uh... This can just keep going until, uh... It cools down this water. There's enough of it. This is still going for another 16 cycles, so... We might get some water out of it, I don't know. But it's all hooked up, it's ready to go. Going this way. At last. At last. Oh my god. <coughs> Perfect. So this water will flash just above a uh, hundred degrees, but then um, eventually the steam will get so hot that the steam turbine will kick in and then we're good. I think we've hooked up the two separate spines to the main. So they're all on one now. With uh, a potential load of 3.8 kilowatts out of 20. That's pretty good. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, iron. Which is great. And we want to... I think we can get rid of these oxygen um, things, right? I think people can just go out into this as it is now, probably. Do a little bit of skimming. That does not meet up with this one. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh no. I think this these are all fine, right? What have I done? Where did it all go wrong? Uh, it must be in here somewhere, right? A slight miscalculation. Yeah, it is here. It's it's my bad. We just got to move this all down one. straight down. This can go more or less straight down. This one can go down too. So this pump, I don't think we need it anymore. And the carbon skimmer. There's a Slickster larva here, but um, I don't know if we're doing this over over here, right? Let's print these.
Let me just move those into there. Jesus Christ, you're disgusted? Me too. I can't believe it. I am so annoyed with myself. I just... Really annoyed. Let's tidy up some of this stuff. What happened? It's too full. That needs to be moving around constantly. Alright, that water's heating up big time. Good. What's this yellow building? I don't know. We have to greet the occupant. The process of recruiting this building's lone occupant involves the completion of key tasks. There's somebody in there, but I'm, I'm not uh, familiar with it. We're going to... We're going to dig him out and uh, and then see what's up. So we can get rid of these as well, right? Wow, look at them. They don't even need suits to come out here now. They're loving it. They love this! Oh, yes. Okay, let's get a gas vent here. Just pump some of this oxygen. Oh, who made a mess? Dovendir? Don't you... He did it. He made a big mess in his suit. Why has he done that? Okay, glass blowing is done. Renaissance art, portrait canvas, and a marble block, and then computing. And then we need to look into the next. Uh... What's the next thing? Conducts data analysis research to unlock new technologies. Consumes data banks generated by exploration. So, for that, so that's all these orange ones, right? So thirty. So what's the thing that we need first? So for this, we need the Orbital Data Collection Lab to get data analysis research. But then it's the virtual planetarium to generate the orange. So you consume the little the little disks and then uh, and then turn them into orange research.
These guys are still wearing masks. Anyone else still wearing a suit? No, I don't think so. Alright, so there's some polluted oxygen here, but it's not germy polluted oxygen. So we'll have to start dealing with some of this. How much, um... How much sand do I have for deodorizers? Sand. Dirt, clay, filtration, I have 110 tons of sand. Okay, I don't need to start crushing salt up just yet then, I guess. It's probably enough sand to last us for a little while, I would have thought. This guy is covered in slime lunk. How do I manage to have 600 tons of dirt? Um, it's these pips. These pips shit out dirt. They eat these trees and shit out the dirt. So we have, we just have a lot of dirt. It turns out, just turns out that we have lots of lots of dirt. All right, Dovendir, I think we're gonna send him over. I think we're gonna send him over to um, to the other place and start, uh, and he can start digging it out over there, right? Just research done. No, we're still working on Renaissance art. The food situation right now, I think it's like um, it's it's. Pickled meal and uh, probably barbecue as well. I think there's, we have lots of, uh, no, it's all pickled meal. I don't know what uh, is happening to barbecue. I think we just don't have any right now. Barbecue, pickled meal. What's in here? It's all pickled meal. <laughs> We're putting all of the pickled meal up in there. <clears throat> and there's no room for anything else. I think we make some barbecue, but still, it's mostly pickled meal. We have a uh, we have a um, murder chamber down here for the excess eggs that we have, and we do have a task to make barbecue. Frost buns we're out of omelets, souffle pancakes. Eric is trying to turn them all into vegans. I think you're right. Okay, Dovendir. He's off. Okay, he has no mask. But we need him to start digging uh, out towards here as well, right? Where are you going? Don't. Don't do those. It's natural gas. You can get yourself set up with some power here soon. Harness that natural, ga natural gas. Alright, Dovendir, we're gonna get you to, uh, oh, 
We're gonna get you to defrost this friend as well. See who's in there. Dovendir has made an amazing discovery. A barely working cryotank 3000 has been uncovered containing a Nisbet inside in a frozen state. Dovendir was successful in thawing Nisbet and this encounter has filled both duplicants with a sense of hope. Something they will desperately need to keep their morale up when facing the dangers ahead. Nisbet is thawed. <laughs> Nisbet um, is somebody who... Like supplying, doctoring, farming? Okay, good. Small bladder, ancient knowledge, gourmet, destructive, super productive. Sure. Okay, Nisbet, we'll get you uh we'll get you to start um farming. That'll be good. So priorities. Where is Nisbet? Crudini. Alright, so Nisbet, let's get you to prioritize farming since you like it. And we could also maybe skill you in it too, Nisbet. Would love that. And then at least she can keep uh, whoever needs to come over here alive, right? That would be good. Um, we're going to need access to this pitcher pump. There's also some cots that we could do with accessing as well. I mean, we might as well just use what's, what's here for now. Open this up a little bit so that we can get some oxygen. And then we can probably set up a little, um... Oxygen generator too, right? Should be able to. So the next person that's coming over here is a scientist, right? To en enable all this stuff. Oh, I got a college colony achievement. What's this? Teleport a duplicate and defrost a friend on another world? I've done it. What's wrong over here? Food. What food? We've got tons of food. Okay, we got some idleness over here. Okay, good job, Nisbet. You can do some building and stuff while you're waiting for your big farms to come online. Nisbet's doing it. They've got uh, one toilet over here. Maybe we could do with having a couple more toilets. Sorry, Nisbet. No toilet for you. She's, she's doing it. She's taking a dump. Alright, so we just have to activate this. But we don't have anybody who can activate it. So we'll have to send over um, a science person from Arborista. These guys will get a little bit stressed out maybe. But it shouldn't be too bad. We, sh we should be able to keep, keep them going.
What's the hold up here? Oh, he's waiting for deliveries to be done. <laughs> Nisbet, deliver the sandstone immediately. Okay, how is this looking in terms of... Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's good. That's looking good. And then we can make this room... There's some drywall back here too. We can make this room a little bit higher. Yeah. New dad here, trying out a new dad joke I thought of this weekend. Ready? Yes. Here it goes. Right. What is the scariest kind of reindeer? Ka Ibu. Love you, dad. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure about that one. Um, thank you so much, Indigo. Thank you. Boo is right. Yeah, dad, dad in training. I, I'm not sure about that one, honestly. I've, I've heard better ones. I For sure I've heard better ones. Okay, so we get um, somebody over here to do the science from Arborista, who is our main science person here. It's Cheese's Crust. Okay, Cheese's Crust. You're going to go over next time the teleporter is up to do this. That'll be nice. We got somebody trapped in Crudini. It's Nisbet. Don't worry, Nisbet. We make this place somewhat livable, if possible, would be good. Nisbet is loving, loving, uh, loving life right now. Okay, perfect. So computing is the last thing that we need before we need the new uh, science machine set up, which we can go back over and do. Let's help these guys out for a little bit. They can actually access a bed to sleep in tonight. And there's some decor items here too, which is kind of nice. We will need to start generating some uh, oxygen pretty soon. And if we can start planting some uh, mealworm for them as well. That could be pretty good. What's the temperature like here? It's alright, actually. Okay, perfect. So we have some igneous rock. How big do we need this to be? We need this to be... to about here. Oh yeah, the teleporter can supply us with oxygen from the other base, of course, yeah. And we have, we've got extra too, right? So we could use that. That's a good idea. Because we're already producing quite a bit over there. We can send the, uh, the extra stuff over here. Come on, Nisbet. Get some sleep, you dummy.
I think the thing is at 26%, so... Rav C. Nisbet. Rav C. Nisbet. Who's starving? Somebody forgot to eat. Oh, these lab walls give so much decor. Holy crap. It's Foot Sandwich who's starving. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Here, we want this. And then we want insulated tile here, too. We do have some mealwood here. Not much, though. There's a little bit. Oh, no. These are all bristle blossoms. Ah, yeah. Here's a bit of mealwood. Okay. We'll go mealwood for now and then see what else we can get. the farming begin can you build a printing pod in crudini yeah there's a mini pod here yeah can make this mini mini pod a mini printing pod Nisbet, go to bed. Nisbet is sopping wet and has hypothermia. They do not they do not like traveling in the water. I mean it's understandable. I I would also hate that. I don't know if you've ever fought in a world war before, but um when your boots get all wet, god damn. Nisbet has been cured of hypothermia. Okay, let's activate this thing.
What is this? Is there a bleach stone here? There is. Yuck. Put it down here. Alright, good job, Dovendir. Look at this. It's online. Oh. Want some oxifern seeds? I don't think we want to get uh, anyone else over here just yet. We got who we need here now. Dovendir can go back after once uh, it's all stabilized and we can start shipping some stuff back. On Arborista, it looks like everybody's got jobs to do. And this thing is at 67%. Good. All right. Nice. Is this thing dormant yet? No, 10 cycles. This water is at 99 degrees, so we should get some steam in a sec. That's good. This system is pumping. Look at all the ethanol we have. We got a whole bunch of ethanol stored up. It's good. Temperature is looking really good in the dirty brick. This water is up to 84 degrees now. Start getting some steam from that. We want to come back here and fix this in about 23 cycles time because this is quite hot in here. This gas pump's only 176 degrees though. I think we're going to feed uh, this system with this as well and stop all this right but we'll have to plug this into the uh into like the main spine okay Dovendir is so mad that he has to come over here and do all of these sweeping jobs and stuff absolutely furious about the whole thing understandable it is understandable all right, so in here, let's get um, some more stuff done. I know you get like the decor bonus, but it's all in the way, you know? It's all right, we'll, we'll figure it out. sandwich just not eating just refuses to eat hmm. all right crudini We've made a start over here, and it's pretty good so far. We'll have some stuff to uh, to send back here, which is uh, exciting, but we will be able to send some stuff over here too. So if we can get this little base going, it'd be great. Send some oxygen over, and then we won't need to produce any here. Oh, there's meteor showers. There's a microbe musher here.
You guys just idle? Furniture. Let's make some mess tables over here. And let's get a water cooler as well. Alright, this gotta be almost ready now, right? For cheese's crust. 88%. That uh, takes forever. So they're gonna they're gonna be expecting a uh, a visitor over there too. Who's gonna help out with uh, some odds and ends. In the meantime, should we change Wolframite into tungsten? Tungsten's got a high melting point too, right? All right, that's all the research done. So now it's it's a, a case of getting uh, the next uh, thing, which I think is the virtual planetarium. And then we probably want to get another um, suit dock up here so that these guys can get into space and do stuff. Space exposure. Okay, we're going to knock on this door as well. somebody in here hermit recruitment pro progress initial contact was a success our new neighbor seems friendly though extremely shy they'll need a little more coaxing before they're ready to join my colony knock on door so we got to deliver some food to the mailbox he wants spicy tofu he wants the f his festive lights turned on. Well, that's not a problem. We can turn on his festive lights. And this is almost ready for Cheese's crust to get sent across to Crudini. Which will, which will honestly be just in time because... Uh, these guys are running out of air. It's a mess over here too, Jesus. Miss B, what are you doing? Go to bed. Go to bed, you big dum-dum. Okay, you can uproot this and there's another one over here that you can uproot to get the last two.
breathability? What? Man, it's pretty breathable. Uh. What, is, what is Foot Sandwich doing, man? What all the metal we have here? Okay, we don't have enough wool from I don't even know where I got the wool from my from to begin with but I guess we've used it all up let's make some more iron okay let's send cheese's crust through Suffocating. Okay, Jesus Crust. Good job. Let's get this activated. Let's get this one activated too. Oh, he's gone to bed. He's just gone to bed straight away. What a um what a what a what a piano player. Deconstruct all this stuff. What's it made out of? Granite. Okay, nice. Um, let's get this insulated tile. Oh. We probably uh, want this uh, area in here, right? Jesus Christ! He's done it! He has done it. Okay, the conveyor loader needs some power. So if we're going to send stuff back over, we just need uh, a little tiny bit of power. Probably We probably really don't need that much. And uh, it would also be nice to... Uh, maybe we just get this coal generator going. Although it's going to start pounding out CO2, which is not great. We don't want to be in the same situation uh, in Crudini as we were with the other one, right? This salt water geyser is pumping salt water out at 95 degrees. Jeez. Okay. And we just want uh, cheese crust to go down here too, right? So that we can start sending oxygen over here. Captain Payne hasn't eaten. Poor Captain Payne.
Oh no. Dovendir is pissed everywhere. Okay, Cheese's Crust can head back in a minute. Because he only really needed to activate these things. And now that they're activated, we can send them back. Jesus Christ, can you please? Oh yeah, as soon as we build this. Okay, good. Jesus Christ is back. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Pardon me. So this is the this is the sender one. So this is for solid stuff. And then we want to send, ah, yes, any excess oxygen, which we have a lot of. Okay, so we want to make sure that the oxygen that we have coming from here is uh, is insulated. And then we can just bring it up here and dump it right in the base. to break this open as well right because this is this is not getting out of here because of this liquid lock Smells? What smells? Oh, Nisbet, great job. Great job. Okay. How are we doing with this? Okay, we've almost got oxygen heading over there. They're so close, actually. Perfect. So when, when, as, as we grow this uh, little colony, we can get, you know, people in to do the sort of like essential work, right? Dovendir is pretty good at digging stuff out and also um, building. And Nisbet will just get better at stuff as uh, time goes on. And then it would be good to get somebody over here who can do um, uh, art and stuff too. We probably need a cook as well. We won't send Erica over here though. We'll just set we'll just have a new cook. Just 
Sealfax is starving now? Where is Sealfax? Oh. Going to the toilet. And now is eating some food. Good. Is eating barbecue as well. Holy crap. No, I don't need to ship over food. I, th I don't think. I think we're good. Hooray! We got some nice, cool oxygen coming over here. Fantastic! Okay, perfect. Let's get some, uh... We could try to get some power online. We'll need to send over some, um, some resources for some of the, like, the bigger build stuff, but... Oxygen has been included, yes. So we can send over steel and all the other kind of crap that we need. No problem. This natural gas um, geyser will produce natural gas at 150 degrees. So we probably want to send over a little tiny bit of steel to these guys. And equally, if we could power this up, we could send all these data banks back here. I think we're probably going to need to sort out the bathroom situation. Here's the place where a big PP took took place. Maybe one of the biggest PPs. All right, so let's get um, medicine. We'll just get some wash basins for now, and then we'll get some outhouses for now too and then when people uh come in on the teleporter wait that's the transmitter it's not the this is the receiver here never mind Um, actually, deconstruct this and all this. Okay, there's a whole bunch of meal lice that we could do with delivering into here. Let's make a, um, it's not medicine, right? It's not, is it storage? Is it food? It must be food. Get a fridge in here. 
How many deaths so far? We've had two... We lost two um, dupes pretty early on. But um, otherwise, since then, it's been fine. We haven't lost anyone else. Um, if we're going to get this natural gas, the natural gas generator produces polluted water and carbon dioxide, but provides us with quite a bit of power. There's a little bit of heat. I say a little bit, it's it's quite hot. So we can make it, we could probably make like a bit of a dirty brick over here if we wanted to. In Arborista... How many cycles? 18 for this to go down. This water is at 92 degrees now, so we should get some steam in here pretty soon. Um, and... No power, what? Oh, they haven't put this last bit in, that's why. This Carniz is having to do all the uh, heavy digging with breaks, taking breaks in between because it's so gross down here. It's all this polluted oxygen. Oh my god, there's so much uh, polluted water down here. How did this get all down here? Oh, it was all in, the, it was all pooled up around here, wasn't it? Let's try to get rid of some of it. Okay, we don't really need that to recharge. Waiting for materials on the worn Atmos suit? What does it need? Reed fiber. Oh, it's because they're all fixed. This water has just gone over 100 degrees, so we should get some um, steam in here in a minute. This guy is still going for five more cycles, so I don't think we'll get any power out of it, but we've kept it nice and cool in there, at least. Alright, so if we want to send uh, stuff over there, we do it from here. So let's deconstruct... Oh, let's leave that, actually. myself nice and cool yes look at how look at how uh, I mean it's a bit hot over here but to be fair we haven't done any cooling in these areas uh, we probably should do we'll get rid of this uh, move some of these transformers into this brick potentially and then uh, we could maybe do some cooling for these little um, oxygen generators but I think we'll do a different one because I we can fit more pumps in here we, we could be taking way more oxygen out. It's a little bit inefficient the way that we're doing it right now. Okay, so... What do we want to load into this to start with? What, what, what would be good to send over to them? Some steel. I have five kilograms of steel. Which is not enough, so we're going to have to make some. Is the steel heavier than feathers? One 
one steel versus one feather, who do you think would win? I don't know either. So we want anything edible in here. And if we're going to do this, we'll get this guy set up around... So we want to have this insulated. It doesn't really matter what we insulate it with. It'll never be hot enough to melt in here. Oh, we might uh, need to send Cheezus over here to do some uh, investigation of this thing as well, right? What's coming through? Some balm lily seed? Rocketry supplying, suit wearing, researching, building, cooking, and rocketry, but he's uncultured. Okay. We don't want any of those guys. Not yet, anyway. Alright. Arborista... 500 kilograms of steel. Okay, let's get this loaded over to Crudini so that we can build this pump. Have I watched the Fallout series six times yet? No, I've only watched it um, five times. I'm planning on doing my big, uh, my big sixth watch soon, though. I can't wait. Alright, we're going to need a couple of... These uh, set up for sweep only, right? You started Shogun on Friday? Yeah, Dowie, I might watch that next, actually. I'm thinking about it. I think about maybe watching that one next. Is the steel through? Jesus crust is at 61%. Str why is everybody so stressed out? Oh, you know why? It's probably because... Uh, 
yucky lungs and all the crap down here, right? They gotta come down here. And they hate it. Whoa, what happened here? This insulated liquid pipe is broken? How could this be? Oh, did some of the, uh, did some of that polluted water flash? Cause it was... Yeah, look at this. It must, it's so hot around here. So what, what over here is so, so hot? Yeah, it looks like all of the uh, the output is flashing immediately. I, it's seventy three. This ladder is ninety four. It shouldn't be that hot around here, though, right? What's the, what's the flash point for polluted water normally? One hundred nineteen degrees. It's not one hundred nineteen degrees in here at all, though. That I can see. The temp shift plate's 91 degrees behind it. There's nothing here that would should be causing this to flash. It's not hot enough. I, I, I don't understand what's causing this to um to to do this. We've we've lost all that all of our um coolant in there. So we need something that has a we probably need some to put some oil in there, right? Into that loop instead. Petroleum. I didn't think it would get so hot in there. Oh look, we got we made a little tiny bit of steam. Holy crap, we're almost out of water. To be fair, I think we used a lot of it for all that research. And we haven't really been putting anything uh, back in for a little while. There's loads of brine coming through, so we should be able to fill it back up. Okay. Meanwhile, in Crudini, um, let us get uh, some of this stuff swept up. Did this steel ever make it through? No. Oh, we didn't, uh, we made 805 kilograms of it, actually.
Nobody's nobody wants to uh, to go and get it. No one's no one's interested in uh, in shipping this over to uh, to the the best new place. Oh, here we go. Look, the festive lights are on. We need to deliver food. Turn on festive lights. Ah, uh, okay. It's got to be on for a long time to cheer him up. That's fine. It's connected to the grid. It should be fine for quite some time. Oh, could it be? Nope. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Okay, we're all backed up for oxygen here. Crudini. Oh, Crudini. Look at that. That's looking great. That is looking just fine. Okay, these guys are nice and busy here as well. Currently, uh, they don't need any water for anything, I don't think, except for this bit in here. So we're going to need to uh, dig out some places where we can get rid of some of this water for now, right? Here, look. Let's just dump it all into here for now. You might need to turn on manual interaction with this cargo loader. Oh. So now they'll bring it over. They delivered five kilograms of steel? Oh, that's... There's got to be more coming, right? There's 800 kilograms. Okay, perfect. All right, Crudini has received... Um, it's steel for now. Oh, whoops. My bad. Oh, the ice is still melting up there. Interesting. Wow, I guess it'll cool it all down, too. Alright, so ventilation, we get a gas pump. We'll make it out of steel. We'll send some plastic over as well. Fifty kgs of plastic. Okay, steel no longer needed. That's enough for now. We'll send a little bit more plastic over though, that'll be good. Okay, that's enough. Jesus, okay. All right. What's happening here now? There's more water coming down here. So this is just going to have all liquid. Okay, Jesus crust we want to send back over here to um, take a look at this thing. Is this ready to go again? Yes, it is. Okay, Jesus crust. 
We're sending your ass back over. No. Uh, pip squeak. I don't think we. Sure. I just let him. I don't think there's any trees over here, but, I mean, it could just be like a little mascot in the base, right? All right. Let's analyze this thing. Um, in terms of power, ventilation, get a mini gas pump here. Oh, I actually wanted to leave a little bit of water there. Whoops. Can he analyze this? Is it is it um, is it exposed enough for him to do it? Mining this might expose it. Does he have room to actually analyze it? I can't see if it's dormant. That is dormant. Okay, if it's dormant, then now is the time to, to do it, right? Jesus Christ, get your ass in here. Okay, so we want to, um, we do want to power this. And this. Okay, he's having a look at it. Hermit recruitment? Success! The hermit is very excited about being on the grid. The light, the bright lights illuminate an unfamiliar file on the ground nearby. Oh, I haven't read any of these. Is there a story? There's another natural gas geyser over here, too. So much natural gas. Is this one dormant, too? Yes, it is. Uh, 
Okay, what's happening on Arborista? Not a lot. Okay, let's get some big, uh, some big jobs going. Keep these guys busy while we're trying to get things up and running on uh, Crudini. Why does it do that? <laughs> I mean, I'm going straight as an arrow there as well, right? Whoa. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot it's so hot here. How many more? 13 cycles left? Good job, Jesus Christ. Wow, this base is huge now, eh? How are they alive? Well, they just got a little bit scalded. It's, it's fine. Just a little tiny bit of scalding. Oh, we don't have uh, a place for Cheese's crust to uh, sleep. We'll have to build him a little, uh, a little bed, and uh, a little mess table as well. Okay, caught. Just while he's visiting, right? There's some science that needs to be done here. A little tiny bit of science. Why did I, what am I doing? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm doing this because, um, wait, <laughs> what am I doing? I don't need to do this at all. What am I doing? Why am I like this? You're just going along with it? All right, fair enough. Jesus Christ, can you just work faster? Stop being such a, a big baby. Just work faster. We are almost done.
<laughs> Burp. Sun Forest, don't just stand there. He's almost dead. A oh, fucking hell. You're so stupid. Just fucking move. Why are you so dumb? Why did this happen? Uh, oh, we don't have a triage cot anymore. I have to make one. The temperature, um... Oh my god, man. I think I just have to do this for now. But it's hot. Fucking seriously? He had some contact with slime lung germs as well. I guess it was just too hot. Well, Sun Forest uh, was... What did he do again? He was a destructive yokel. Who was good at... <sighs> he wasn't really good at anything, honestly. It's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> Vertical wind tunnel. Oh, it it increases uh, morale. So we need to make another uh, gravestone. It's our third person dead. Hey, what does that come under? Base? Medicine? Ah, tasteful memorial. We'll make this one out of granite. Sun forest... I don't know what happened. It was all going so well. Okay, hopefully this helps... ...contain some of that heat, and then we can just have it dissipate. We'll fix this in 11 cycles. Okay, how are things on Crudini? They are progressing a little bit. We don't have um, any uh, igneous rock here, though. Which is surprising. There's got to be some around. There's sedimentary. There's dirt and sand. Uh, maybe there is none. Holy crap. Sandstone? Ah, oh, there's a whole bunch here. It's it's this stuff here. Okay. Um I mean we could just send a whole bunch over from here. Let's just do that actually. Let's just send a, a big whack over. And then I don't need to do too much digging. I can't believe that that guy died. <laughs> Sun Forest. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I couldn't even remember the name. Okay, I've sent over uh, the first shipment of igneous rock. You'll be pleased to know it's not that we we could get another dupe over here actually it's good okay
Okay, that's better. That's way more igneous rock. Has it come through yet? No? Whoa! Where is it? Or did they just pick it up straight away? Oh my god, Jesus Christ! You've done it! Okay, this thing isn't active for another 38 cycles, so we have a lot of time here. Hey, where'd it go? They didn't use it somewhere else, like, immediately, did they? Oh, no, here it all is. Look, there's loads of it. Okay, who's coming through here now? Somebody good? Decreased medicine, operating, decorating, early bird with an iron gut, ugly crier and decreased medicine? I think the operating could be really good, right? For over here? Okay, fine. Who wants to be this guy? Sunforce dead. Lemon cord? Okay, you're in. Alright, so Lemon Cord, wherever you are, we are going to have you do operating. Op improve tinkering and operating. And as such, your priorities will be Lemon Cord operating yes put on your hat welcome to the colony he's going right in there to pick up eggshells what a guy that's exactly what we needed Alright, so now in terms of getting some uh, power hooked up to this, this wire can be deconstructed. Um, I mean, obviously uh, we need some power just to uh, to run the uh, the pump until such a time where I don't, I really don't want to produce a lot of CO2, but we should probably start digging out. Um, the uh, the hot box that this is going to feed into right so it's polluted water and co2 we can send over the resources that we need to uh, build like uh, the aqua tuner and all that kind of stuff too to mop up some of this Yeah, natural gas generators produce a lot of heat, yeah. Alright, this one is currently dormant as well. So, we can start uh, getting this one. to uproot this too. Could just make one big chamber and make it really complicated. I think I'm just going to keep them keep them small and keep them separated as well. I think that's the the best way to do it.
Okay, I'm gonna keep him secret and safe. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. Okay, uh, Chad, I'm gonna go have a quick bite to eat. I won't be long. Sorry, it's been... I've been, uh, you know... Oh, just give me a sec. Just give me, like, uh, away a lot. But uh, it can't be helped today. I think Terry's um, feeling better. I'll go check on him and I'll go have something to eat and I'll be right back, okay? Alright, see you in a sec.
You're doing great, Dad! You've probably heard by now. We lost a dear employee today, name here. Records indicate they were probably well regarded by some of you. They'll not be easily replaced this cycle but we'll do our best. Grief counseling will be available at standard rates.
Hello, I'm back. Hey, Supervisor Randy, thanks so much for the 10 while I was gone. You probably heard by now we lost a dear employee today. Name here. <laughs> Records indicate they were probably well regarded by some of you. They'll not be easily replaced this cycle, but we'll do our best. Grief counseling will be available at standard rates. Sounds about right. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. <clears throat> I did not get tea. But there is some tea coming my way. Apparently. Apparently. Right. We need to pump um, some oil in here. Or some petroleum or something that can withstand the heat. Because that, uh, that polluted water did flash. And we need to make probably some more um, some more stuff, right? So we're going to need to get a nice liquid pump in here to pump this stuff out. I don't have a lot of it, though. What else can be used as a, as a coolant? What about ethanol? Is eth ethanol uh, something that we can use? Ethanol. Insulated liquid pipe with ethanol. This pipe is delivering 10 kilograms of ethanol at 65 degrees. Um, ethanol. It's got five tons of ethanol in it. How do I look up... Hello. I want to, I want to see um, the, uh, the thing for ethanol. Ethanol. I want to I want to click on the purple ethanol to take me to the to the page the help page. Ethanol. Okay, uh, ethanol. Ethanol is going to uh, turn into uh, ethanol gas at seventy eight degrees. What? That's not good. And uh, its freezing point is minus 114. I think I need something uh, a bit better. I can't. I can't use the polluted water. It flashed. It was. Uh, it was. It. It ran too hot, and um, it turned into steam. It boiled. Temps for oil? Much higher. Um, crude oil evaporates at 399 degrees and freezes at minus 40. So I think oil is the one that we want in here for now. To avoid um, any... Uh, any further mishaps, right? How the heck am I going to get this oil across here? There's so many... Well, I guess this isn't really needed anymore, to be fair. So we can get rid of this now. And this. And any other pipes that happen to be in here. Um... I guess we don't really need this carbon skimmer here either because the carbon levels have gone right down. Although it does seem to be skimming a little bit still. What was I doing before I left? Oh yeah, Crudini still needs some uh, work as well, right? We need to get a, a little ladder up here. This thing is coming out of dormancy 38 cycles and this guy over here is dormant still too so we'll do this work I need to push some of this co2 down there's sadly some co2 here there's a bunch in here too looks like there is a cold core instead of a hot one or maybe yeah, no, this seems to be, so instead of, uh, instead of having uh, magma, we're going to have ice. 
sand will fall. Oh yeah, you're right, the sand will fall here. We do not want that sand to fall. That's for damn sure. We do need to drop a little bit of water down though. Okay, good job, Dovin Deer. I need to check something quick as well. Because this thing, I'm pretty sure, is probably almost full. It is. Unbelievable. I have to get in here and rip some of this stuff out, I think. What is the, uh... Okay, so that's all hooked up there, and then this one can be hooked up quite easily, actually, to, uh, to here if I just open it up. If I open it up and get in there, we can hook this up to the, uh, to the main spine. Uh, this one is powering a bunch of stuff down here. Okay, that's fine. I can move that around a little bit. It's a bit of a headache, but... This thing is uh, done in 10 cycles. It's still pretty hot over here, but at least it's not scalding hot. Okay, so let me... Um, cut this for now. And... Let us... Let's do this for now, so that we can use up some of this. Okay, and we'll come back and check on it after. Still dormant? Yeah. Okay, I think another thing that we can do in here is uh, let's open up all this. There isn't uh, that much CO2 here. Should be able to push it down. So we'll have a lot of oxygen competing for space, right? But it's because we've got all these like little uh, these mini um, locks here. open up all this too. Jesus Christ, get in there! Oh, they built his bed. Nice. Everybody's got their own toilet now, too. We're very low on food here. Hopefully, um, Nesbit can do a bit of farming tomorrow. Don't 
Open Deer is not going to get any sleep tonight. What the hell? Oh my god. No sooner did he get some shut eye, it's time to wake up again. What the heck? Was he stuck? Okay, good. Let's get some of this oxygen over here. We're we're pumping it out. We're pumping. We are we are pumping. Oh, there's a hatch here. Maybe set up a little hatch farm. It's barbecue. to delicately deal with this water. If possible. Trap it all down here. Some of it down there, too. We just gotta get a little bit of oxygen down here. Is this thing still dormant? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Oh. Run home! Quickly, you fool! No! Okay, you might actually get some sleep tonight. Can you eat faster? Go to bed! <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, it is a heck of a water lock that we've managed to create here, right? Hey, night-night, Milchine. Hooray! We did it! At last! Now we can start pushing some air down here. Oh, 
much coal do we have here? 18.7 tons. Wowzers. Um, excavation cuisine, uncultured green thumb, decreased medicine vomiter, Camille. Camille's not too bad. The the plus five cuisine and uh, excavation as well could be pretty good. We'll need somebody here to probably make meals and do ranching and stuff. Wow, look at that. Plus 10 agriculture, decreased construction. All right, who wants to be Camille? Duckers? All right, Duckers, you're in. Duckers lives on Crudini. All right, so in terms of things that Duckers will do, let's get Duckers started on... Um, cooking? Digging. Let's get you digging first, and then we'll swap you over to cooking. Okay, good. We have we have tons of uh, jobs that need to be done down here, so... Jesus Crust has 62% stress. Not happy. Not a happy, not a happy chappy. We'll be able to get down here to analyze this soon, though. Get a jumbo battery in here too. Actually, the oxygen can't get down here because of this uh, water too, right? It's perfectly locking off all this. Jesus Crust can uh, leave soon. After this uh, analysis is done. What's happening on Arborista right now? Is this guy dormant? Next activities in 55 cycles for him? Okay, it's fine. Um, this guy's still got 7.6 cycles to go, and these guys are all still digging all this stuff out. That's fine. Whoa! He came out for a sec!
Alright, let's move all this stuff out of here. Ah, oh, look at Ducker's helping. Ducker, Ducker's is helping. Okay, we should get some oxygen down here pretty soon. We're just gonna start pumping this out as well. I know, I built a coal plant where I wanted to pump the air down to. I need the power. Alright, we want to get a another gas pump here. We're going to make it out of steel. And we can just vent it out here. I need to drop a little bit of water. I think I can do it. Oh, maybe I can actually. Fertilizer won't fall, right? much there. Yes, Jesus Christ. He's so close to being able to go home. That's great. These guys are eating just meal lice. Yuck. Alright, this is vacuumed. Duckers need a helmet? No. Carnese has some slime low. Oh shit! That's all this polluted oxygen, isn't it? Oh fuck, there's lots of it. Ah, I think it'll probably mostly die though, right? Probably. Um, here, let's just get some deodorizers set up around some of these areas. That ah, should be fine. Right, that'll be plugged in. Already get rid of that, and then this one will just need to be plugged in That's a lot of slime lung It just kind of it just kind of got loose I 
I don't know if anybody has a bad case of it, but... Oh, you can see the guy inside. Get this stuff moved. Everything is out of this chamber, so we're good to close it. Let's deconstruct this gas vent. Great! And Jesus Crust is almost done analyzing this. Oh man, he was so close. got four dupes over here holding it down big time yeah he's done it okay so this guy is active in 41 cycles okay good that's good we've uh, we closed these things off well almost and uh, we got the the piping that we need for it so we can start setting up some other stuff around it and then once they uh, are active we can suck all of the uh, natural gas out of them and um, just get some, um, get it all stored up and then we'll have some power. We don't even need that much power here. I mean, we're barely doing anything. I think that's great. So I think Cheese's crust can go back. His work here is done. Welcome back, Cheese's Crust. He made it. Oh shit, Carnies actually has slime lung. 2.9 cycles till he recovers from it. How's our hatch situation looking? It's, it's slowly improving. How old is this guy? Nine years old. Where's the pollution coming from the top side? Uh, it's probably just a bit of polluted water down here and we just need to basically get rid of all these um, all these spot how come they can't get over here what? They can just run, they go, they can reach all these spots, can they not? So what's the deal? Why can't they get in here and mop? Unreachable mop.
Oh, I guess they just couldn't... Oh, it's the double gap there. Oh my god, man. There's so much polluted water down here. Attention employees. This is it where all the uh, attention that the base might or might not be infected with slime along. It's a little we bit are researching it. Until further notice, we recommend holding your breath. Also, slime lung is not a covered condition of your health plan. Slime lung. Ah, oh, there's so much polluted water down here. It's not helping. What do we got? Steel? Yeah. Please, I'm taking it. Take a little bit of steel, why not? Hey, Supervisor Randy, thanks again for the 10. Mucho appreciado. Alright. Polluted oxygen. It's time for you to... It's time for you to... To feck off. We have to get rid of it. We're back over here now. Oh, hang on. There's still, uh... Aha! Perfect, okay. So, disable that. Get rid of this. Let's mop this up. I think Dovendir can be sent back pretty soon, too. I don't think he's uh, needed much beyond this, right? I think um, I think the other guys can kind of manage. He can just live over here for a bit. Okay, let's get pumping here. Oxygen's looking a little bit better over here. Slime lung hasn't gone down yet, but it'll be slowly dying now. As we get rid of uh, some of this stuff. Actually, these tiles... ...are not needed. I'll actually untrap that polluted oxygen. It might just float to the top or whatever. Let's get it out of here. It's got to go over these things as well. That's good. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can finish uh, these tasky waskies down here. And then once these things are capped, then we don't have to be so active over here. We can send Dovendir back to help with jobs over there. We need to set up some um, some stuff topside now. I think we need to get uh, we need some Atmos suit dock places and we need to get uh, some science and stuff set up on the surface right in the space part Let's start figuring out what's close by to us and where we want to go first Just finish this. We can cut that off for now because we don't want it to just start 
Park, although it, it has nowhere to go, right? We'll get it set up. There we go, it's almost empty. Fish. He didn't finish the job. Okay, that's fine. Now they did. All right, perfect. Okay, so these are both analyzed and ready to rock and roll. Okay, let's get rid of this high pressure gas vent for now. Yeah, it's two two nice vacuums. Perfect. Okay, let's, uh, as soon as this teleporter is ready to go, we'll send, uh, send Dovendir back. And in the meantime, these guys can just carry on doing whatever it is that they do over there. Our KCALs have gone down over here. Because we haven't been producing any excess eggs for barbecue. These guys are cramped in here as well. Look at uh, these uh, these these love pip ones are, are cute, aren't they? Okay, let's finish this job. So we want to fill this pipe here. Very temporarily. Oh my god, we're gonna have to go over like, like a million, uh, we're gonna have to make like a million bridges. And then we can get back to making um, <coughs> these these uh, these big metals, the the big time metals. I think we're gonna need. Um, I don't know if there's any any need to build protection up here. I don't think we've been hit by anything this whole time, right? There's radiation out here, but in terms of like uh, meteorites, I, I don't think we need to. Um, I don't think we need to do anything with this, right? Is it like, um, if I look at the star map, will it tell me? No meteor showers forecasted. Copper meteor, ice meteor, or slimy meteor on this one. Ooh, copper. So this one will just never have meteor showers. It's pretty lucky, actually. All right, so where can we put um, so we could build like right up, but obviously vacuum well, that's got stuff behind it. So the space that this might be a good place to actually stage the uh, stage a rocket, right? Because it's like it's a bit deeper down. Do we want to keep this uh, the abyssalite crust? I guess it doesn't really matter. It's like if we just have um, buildings with drywall and we pump oxygen 
into the into the buildings and and a bit of heat as well it'd be fine this is the first breach yeah this will be like the, well it's i mean we've breached already look we we breached into actual space it's fine okay so in terms of stations virtual planetarium conducts data analysis research to unlock new technologies we can make this consumes data banks generated by exploration oh so maybe this thing can just go anywhere down here it doesn't really matter we can just put it up here somewhere I think this is full though. It might be better to just chuck it like in here somewhere. That should be fine, right? And then in terms of research, Critter Fountain, Brackwax Gleaner, there's a milking station, small petroleum engine, mission control. I think we need mission control, right? Ah, it would be good to get this. Solid filter with the storage tile, large cargo bay, conveyor rail thermo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's start researching that. would be great. We've got data banks that we can send back from Crudini as well, right? Milking station, yeah, I think there's, the, is it is it space moves? I've never seen them before, but I remember when they, uh, when they added them. There's a way to get more charges of this, right? The vacillator as well. All right, we're getting rid of some of this polluted oxygen, which is good. Um, we could maybe do with having another deodorizer here. Get all that stuff that's pooled up there. Here we go. Virtual planetarium. Okay, so we need uh, data analysis researcher skill. So we can give it to Jesus Crust, who will need to take uh, astronomy and this as well. Okay. He can now do it. Jesus Crust, I believe in you. I'm so glad you made it back. Uh, this thing is still recharging. Let's get uh, this thing powered. Why does it do that? And then this thing we can say allow manual use and we want to put data banks in. Send these data banks back to our other colony to do some big time research. 
We have some data banks, but we could always do with having some more. Who died? It was um, Sunforest died. Sunforest uh, got got burnt pretty bad. 2.6 cycles until this thing is done. Houdini's getting hit by meteor showers right now. Oh, look at all the little baby hatches. Holy crap, th this place has exploded again. That's great. Oh, they're still there. They're just... You can't really see them. They're behind the, uh... The phosphorite. Okay. This is full up with oil now. Cut this off and then use it to cycle this stuff back. Um, wait a sec. Oh, that's fine, actually. Yes. Holy Jesus Christ, there's so much polluted oxygen here. All right, let's get some deodorizers over here. There was quite a bit of oil in there, in the end. All those slicksters. Alright, new printable? You get some copper. Science and agriculture or husbandry, cuisine and medicine. Increased excavation but slow learner. I think that's fine. Oh, part of me.
Light some scented candles. It's okay, we'll get rid of all this. There's a lot of slime lung down here because of all this. It's been allowed to fester. I hate that. I hate when that happens. Uh, we want some power going to these as well. <laughs> Thanks for yawning because it made me realize I need to go to sleep, so good night. <laughs> okay, good night, Laura Lana. Night, night. Okay, we got a couple more to add in here, too. Let's get rid of these ones. Um. Probably get the spine, the 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 high density spine down there, but oh boy, okay, this is gonna go dormant, but it's gonna be really hot in there until we pump all of this out. So we'll probably need to get a couple of more storage units here. <laughs> I love that. It's so good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he loves it in there. You're right. I think this is the last leg of the analysis here, too. So get this. That's great. So in terms of research, oh, he's waiting for some rad bolts, and then uh, we're good. Okay, that'll be a really good one to get, actually. Diamond press. We can get research reactor, the uranium centrifuge, and a rad bolt joint plate. That's for radiation refinement. We can get jet packs, blast shot, jet suit, jet suit dock, large liquid cargo tank, and the meteor blaster. We can get a beach chair, pixel pack, a cartographic module, automatically analyzes adjacent space while on a voyage. That's cool. We'll probably want to get one of those. Signal selector, signal distributor. Isn't where's the uh the observatory thing? I think we need that for something, right? Drill cone. Mission control, which leads into petroleum engine. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we have it already. I'm just dumb and I didn't see it. I thought it was like a, an advanced one. Or is this it? No, that's the meteor blaster. So what do we need next? Monument base. Oh, you can make, <laughs> you can build a big monument. That's cool. Should we build a monument to uh, one of our fallen uh, comrades? Interplanetary launcher. Launches interplanetary payloads. Oh, that'd be good too. Targeting beacon. Yeah, there's lots lots to do for sure. Okay, I think we'll get this mission control one next, right? Because that's what we'll need to actually send a rocket up. Output pipe is full. Oh, uh, because we loaded this. We might have loaded this up too much. Put a reservoir for a buffer? Yeah, I could do that actually. That's not a bad idea. Reservoir.
Lemon cord. <laughs> You're so slow in that thing. I think this guy here we want to just close up for the time being as well. Because all this polluted water coming out is uh, not the best. This is what's causing a lot of this polluted oxygen, right? Oh, I got tea coming. I think foot sandwich is going to get stuck in here. What's that, sorry? Oh my god. He's crazy, eh? Thank you very much. Terry's li living it up in there today. He's getting cuddles now, too, apparently. What a guy. So what, is he just loose? Or was? <laughs> Good. Oh my god. Just six hours of non stop. Alright, well, now we know. Thanks. Thanks very much. He's been loose around the whole kitchen and uh, he's finally tuckered out enough. He's tuckered out enough where he now wants to go back into his cage. So you're going to get trapped in there. Don't you do it. Now Relaine is trapped in here. so stupid. It's crazy how stupid they are, actually. He's gonna die. He's actually gonna die. God, it's so tedious sometimes, isn't it? They're so stupid. I mean, like, it, it, it's such a simple thing. Just... Oh, we lost another dupe. Lost another member of the night shift. Giso seal facts, and we're gonna move uh, lemon cord over as well to the night shift. Beard daddy Gallus. Do you know what? Actually, beard daddy can go to the night shift as well. Duckers and Nisbet are both on Crudini. So is Dovendir. Actually, yeah, we'll get Dovendir back here, right? He doesn't need to be over here anymore. We 
These guys are just over here doing nothing. <laughs> it's just, just nothing to do. Yeah, they're out of food. I'll have to get them some food. You're doing great, Dad! Attention employees, we are gathered here together to mourn the passing of insert name into the bowels of the polluted piss water ocean. <laughs> A truly unpreventable <laughs> tragedy. As the old saying goes, from piss we came, and to piss we shall return. Oh, did we... Did we send... Have we sent... Data banks back? Hey, Supervisor Randy, thanks so much for the 10. No, we haven't sent them. They're going to send them over now. Perfect. Eight and 13 data banks. Very good. All right, good. We're eating up some of this polluted oxygen over here. A bunch of this job is done, so we shouldn't be making more polluted oxygen. And then when we actually need to use this, we'll use it. We do not need it right now. God, there's loads of polluted oxygen still, and quite a bit of slime lung. Although we are killing it now, it's going down. It'll take a little while to kill with the uh, fresh oxygen. We ran out of slicksters. They're all gone. We'll have to get some uh, more in when we have a better... Um, we have like a better environment for them. I don't think there's that many places where uh, I suppose there's still s loads of polluted water over on this side. I think it's just because we we dug up way too much slime at one point. It was just too much. It was just too slimy, you know. Alright, Dovendir is back over here. And we're still waiting on uh, these rad bolts. No, we almost got it actually. Is this one done? Yes, okay, for 60 cycles, this guy is done. Perfect, alright. Let's get some gas reservoirs set up then. Oh, actually, um, yeah, let's just do like this, and then we can reconnect this up. That goes into there. This one goes into... Here, and then up here? Sure. Uh, 
Ah, oh, fudge. So we need to... We'll sort this out at the same time, actually, as this. So we got to cut this off again now. We'll get this whole area sorted out, finally. And then we won't need to check on it uh, every two seconds. I can't believe we lost Relaine. So Relaine was somebody who did uh, a lot of um, delivering and stuff. Hard digging, caregiver, iron gut, increased air consumption. Ugh. Let's just get some bristle berries. Holy crap, there's a lot of CO2 in there. Lots of CO2. Um, oh yeah, and we were working on uh, getting this um, plumbed in as well, right? Do it like that, right? To use the buffer tank. Is the Crudini arch the same options or you get two chances? No, it's it, you. You take it. Uh, it's it. It's all in the same timer. You don't get two chances. It's the same one. All right. We just need to put some tile in here too. You keep seeing items fall on the right and you think it's too so it's falling all the way down. No, thankfully that's not the case. Okay, we can dismantle this. can input that into there and then we got all these other tasky waskies to accomplish so we're going to vent this whole thing out completely get rid of all of this the temperature in here and then uh, we'll get in and do some other stuff to it as well we're going to need some steel to be made once this bit is done down here too Okay, a lot of the polluted oxygen is uh, is gone now. There's a, a bunch that needs to be dealt with up here still. So let's do that quickly. Make sure there's some power.
just when they have a chance to do it, it's not not super important. Somebody's really stressed. It's Cheese's Crust. Okay, let's assign Cheese's Crust. He's probably stressed out from his time on Crudini. He's probably just a little bit... These guys uh, are starting to build up um, some more um, food, which is good. Let's just get a bit more planted. Get some of this crap tidied up as well, would be nice. Alright, good. All right. There's not there's not like a heck of a lot that needs to be done over here just just now. Uh, we're not um We're not desperate for anything, so these guys can just uh hang out here. <laughs> Jesus Christ is having his big massage. That's a, that's a strong pull. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look, the the team are here. Giso's going in as well. No, oh, only to get some copper. You're in the bathroom making some solid, some polluted oxygen right now. Nice. Nice. I hope that you have a deodorizer hooked up to uh, five watts of power in that bad boy. I'll be disappointed if not. Okay, cheese is crust down to 92% stress. <laughs> He's still having a massage. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what's the problem? Just low morale. Don't worry, you'll get there. I believe. I believe in you. And we should now be able to build up a good reserve of uh, barbecue, right? Lots of coal. This igneous rock. I'm feeding these guys. Um, so stations, crafting, artifact analysis station. Analyzes and extracts neutronium from artifacts of interest. So... I have an artifact in my base right now, right? And I can get some neutronium from this. <laughs> it's got a it's got like a squeegee and a and a and a mop head on it. Okay, good. We're pumping here. Oh, shit. I actually wanted this to go in here.
Okay, Lemon Cord will eventually get faster, generally. He just needs some more experience wearing the, the Atmos suit. Oh, these guys are installing this stuff now. Okay, sure. That's good. It's good to get rid of all this, actually. Um, let's keep making sure that we're getting rid of especially polluted water, right? Because that's the stuff that's emitting the uh, polluted oxygen. Um, who else can work, um, at night? Foot sandwich? And then let's also get, um, carnies. So we're... Six, six at night, and then six uh, in the day, and then hopefully, in terms of getting to use the toilet and eating food and stuff like that, they'll be able to uh, to stay on top of it, keep on top of this morale. The night shift, a aka the death shift. Oh no! What are you talking about? We've lost four. <laughs> we've lost four dupes. I can't believe we lost two today. It's unbelievable, actually. Really unbelievable. Really bad. Okay, good. We're back to. We've got much more storage now for hydrogen. Okay, let's pop this open here. Whoops. Strength in agriculture, piloting, creativity, and strength. Night owl as well. The increased bladder. A vomiter. It's time to make some changes here, I think. And the first one we want to make is um, getting rid of all this and some of this. And then probably this too. And then let's just get rid of this crap too. Okay, this will this is great. And then we can move this in like that. And then we can put this wire bridge here and connect this back up down here. And then all we'll need to do is add some automation wire to 
let's get rid of this tank as well. So this is ventilation. That doesn't need to go in there now. And then this um, this can go actually we can oh no we don't want to open that on this side god that would be the worst so this will need to go over here it's not really accessible uh yeah it is actually i can access this from here okay so we'll go like this and then down like that I can't reach that until we get in here, but that's fine. Once we get in, I'll, I'll do it. Gas pipe. Okay, let's get rid of this gas bridge. Uh, we might actually just be able to get up here like this, right? Should be able to reach it from there. Yes. Okay, perfect. So that won't be disconnected. Let's remove this automation from here for now. And then let's get this powered into here. And we'll also, yeah, we'll use up the rest of this too, right? There's nothing left in here. This has 90 kilograms of hydrogen in it. But it's saying that it doesn't... Oh, it's because I cut the pipe, right? Did I? No? What the hell? Oh, the input needs to be connected? Oh, to what though? Just to anything? Oh, I see. Alright, we just want to use this up and then we can move this stuff around a little.
Okay, the ladders worked. It's still hot in here, but pretty soon we'll create a vacuum. And get rid of all the heat. Okay, great. How's Crudini doing for food now? They're doing okay, actually. These guys are just surviving over here. That's all they need to do. We don't need them to do anything uh, more than that, right? We're sending them some uh, some of our excess oxygen as well. Oh, that research is complete. Finally, holy crap. Okay, what do we want to research next? Probably the mission control thing, right? Yeah. How close are the meteors to breaking through? Oh, not not close at all. I think it's they're fine. Okay, so in terms of shipping now, we can make a solid filter. Oh, that is good. So we can filter lumber through and then everything else out the other side, right? So we'll have it come over to here, go in there, the lumber will come out, and then we'll have the excess eggs come out the other side. Oh, yeah, baby. We just need some room for this thing, though. It's huge. It must be built in unoccupied space. So you can't build it in uh, a wall or anything, either. So you might have to move the critter sensor. Where's the critter sensor? filter yep okay and then we go shipping conveyor rail <clears throat> Okay, and the automation here needs to... Actually, the automation has not been plugged into this yet. So that's going to... So this is going to pick up um, not only lumber. Actually, it's going to get all clogged up with lumber, though, isn't it? Unless we, uh, unless we start storing a lot more of it somewhere else. 
I wonder if we could do that, actually. I wonder if we could just have, like, a, um... You know, when it's cut here, just chuck it in here and then, um, you know, like, chuck it on the ground in front of this as well. We could probably do that, right? With, uh, shipping. Conveyor chute. Just dump all of the uh, lumber into a pile right in front of it, and then it can uh, load it up from there, too. And then that way it'll keep all the lumber out of here, and then we'd be able to do the egg stuff. Are you dead yet? No, not yet. Close, though, I'd say. Alright, we're back to, uh... We're back to manufacturing, but... Do we need more oil? to all the polluted water. Did it all flash? It must have all flashed. It's too hot in there. I don't think there's enough in here now for... A full cool. There's enough in here, in here to make iron, but there's probably not enough to make um, any more steel. So we'd have to... Okay, let's get rid of this thing. Since I think all the uh, polluted water flashed, and then we can just fill it up with some more oil. <laughs> Yeah, it did it flash. You like you can see it flashed immediately because all this water. Fuck. Okay, it's fine. We'll get uh, we'll get the rest of it filled up with oil. So we just have to do this again. Actually, we don't want to get too sidetracked from uh, the task at hand here, but we're still pumping out some of the gas. So there's not really much we can do there right now. Uh, this I think is empty. Yep, so we can deconstruct this. Alright, and then let's fill this loop. Because we're going to need um, a bunch of oil and stuff anyway, right? Fine. 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 Okay. So we go liquid bridge. Liquid bridge. Tried Planet Crafter? Yes, I have. I played it last week. I think we're playing it this week again, too. Not for a hashtag ad, though. Just for fun. I think we might play it tomorrow. Last I heard, we were playing it tomorrow afternoon. Hey, Cycle 500, we made it! When is this big event you're in happening that you haven't told you or Dowie about? Look, I haven't told anyone about it because I don't have any information on it.
As soon as I have... It's meant to be this weekend, but <laughs> I have, like, no info on it, so... I'm just waiting. Oh! Okay, what happened here? Now this thing is full? Oh, for flip's sakes, it's full now. Or oh, is it... It's saying it's not full though, right? Because as soon as I want to make this, there's not enough. Or maybe there is. Let's see if somebody goes down here to make some. Let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, see, there's only, like, half in here now. Can they do it, though? Oh, they can! Alright, it doesn't need to be, like, filled right up. Oh, it's coming out of here. No wonder. It's coming out. No wonder it's flashing straight away. It's coming out at, like, 160 degrees. But we're cooling it down to, like, 40. No wonder. Okay, I think we still want some more um, in this loop, though, right? I think we still want more in the loop anyway. Because then it'll just fill up faster. No, I haven't tried the conduction panel yet. Oh man, this thing is not uh, keeping up with the... What? <laughs> How? Is this possible? Alright, I'll just put another one in, I guess. Um, and hopefully this one doesn't melt down. So it is getting a little bit hot in here now. It's about 50 degrees here. I'm making this one out of copper. Should maybe make it out of steel, because it's only going to get even hotter in here. I think this is already connected, yeah. Look at Foot Sandwich and Giso working together like true professionals. How is this produced so much hydrogen that I can't even possibly pump it? I can't I can't pump it. Keep pumping. Pumping non stop. It's pumping non stop and it's still. Look, it can't. It can't empty out these pipes. Although, it seems to be getting closer to being able to do it. It's because they merge together, right? So the bottom one's always going to be slightly affected. You like a higher capacity pipe. Uh oh. 
Okay, at this rate, it should, uh, it, it should, um, use up. It should use it quicker than they're producing it, right? I think. Ah, oh, shit. There's a bit of hydrogen going in here still, too. Just need this to, um, to catch up and then we should be good. Yeah, it's going to do it. Look. Okay, good. It'll balance out with two. it with the hydrogen on the top already. Okay, here we go. Look. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No, 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 no. Ah, it's, it'll be fine. I think I, I think that will uh, that will eventually um, it'll eventually catch up with it, right? It'll be fine. Output pipe is full. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we go into here. We cut this off of here and then we're gonna delete the bridges cut this off and then we just want to take out We filled it up too much. I think this is the second time I've done this now. I'm so sorry. Colony lacks the plumbing skill? Eh? Does it? We had to... Uh, oh, is it because the, the our plumber is asleep? We definitely have a plumber somewhere. Oh, the our plumber died. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Captain Payne, are you up? To, to the task? No. Does anybody enjoy plumbing around here that... Uh, yeah, Jesus Crust does. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're back in business, baby. Where's Jesus Crust? He's got to go to... He's got to go get his new skills assigned and then he's... Just have Jesus do it? Jesus is going to do it because in between uh, research... Jesus can uh, can do this stuff, right? We might need a rocketry, suit wearing and digging, doctoring, cooking and rocketry. There's a pom-pom knit suit. Tidying, researching and rocketry could be good. Yeah, okay. This is good. Decreased agriculture? Who cares? Who wants to be... Okay, bearing in mind... You're uh, you're going to be tidying and probably going to space. Snapcat? Snapcat bandit? You did it, mate. You're in. Okay, Snapcat bandit. We'll get you... You're going to be... Ralane's replacement. Okay, go find something to do quick. Shipping? So this solid filter, so output two, we want to be um, lumber. 
And everything else is going to be eggs, right? Okay, so for automation... We want them to always pick up lumber, though. And I suppose to some extent we want them to always pick up eggs, too. But we want to leave some of the eggs behind. Oh, no. It's going to be hard. How do I... How am I going to program these sweepers to work with both eggs and wood? I don't know if I can. I might need to get separate wood collectors. I might need to get I might need to set up like a like almost like a second system. There's a solid filter, yeah, but um if I'm using the critter sensor to um to activate and deactivate uh well I'm, I mean I guess I could put some logic in, right? could say like um if the um i'd have to put like an or in right but i have no way i don't have a way of of saying i really i want it on the critter right on the on the uh on on the the event of the 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 critter sensor being over but i need it to to check to see if there's lumber first. Oh, fuck. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Does it need to be an and or an or? So we want to say if the, if the amount of critters is over eight... Um, and there's no, but there's no way for me to detect lumber, right? So if there's no way for me to actually detect that there's, that there's lumber, it means that we just want to pick it up anyway, but we do want it, we do want it to pick it, pick up anyway, but I guess what it'll do is when it picks up eggs, it'll, uh, it'll quickly pick up all the lumber as well. Maybe that, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe it'll just scoop it up when it can sort of thing, right? Actually, we want this to go around here to the sweepers. Right? So if it's above eight, then we sweep whatever we can. And also this lumber has not moved. And I don't know if it's because the work downstairs hasn't been finished. So this is going to take all the lumber down. Oh. Why is this, uh, why is this lumber full? Oh, the lumber is full because it's not even fucking connected to the, to the flipping um, thing. That's why. <laughs> well, let me get it connected up. I'm sending four eggs down. Beautiful. Okay, our our hatches everything seems to be working there now. Okay, we're gonna get on top of this bad boy. You trust me when I say it. It's fudge. Okay, good. This is working now.
fills right back up. Look at how hot it's getting over here. Hey, we're steamed up finally in here too. Took long enough. Ah, we managed to steam up in here too, just. So we'll generate power on the next one. The next, uh, the next cycle for that thing, right? Okay, we're good here, so the temperature, we should be able to open this up and let some cool air in here and hopefully let it cool down a little bit. How close are we to making the stupid hermit happy? Not close at all, it turns out. Okay, Lemon Core, don't stand in the... In the, in the scalding heat. Actually, this one we just want to make it... We want to leave it open now, right? Or deconstruct it. We open it up, let it cool off, and then deconstruct it and figure out what the heck we're going to do in here. Okay, we have enough steel to make an aqua tuner and stuff. Oh, shit. Okay, luckily that filter's there. Jesus. Okay. We have to let some of this air get in here unfortunately we'll have to vent it out again too but we just need to uh, try to cool it down in here a little bit and then figure out how we're gonna tame this hydrogen vent um, I've, I think um, I think we can try to um, Trying to think. One, two. Spacing. Not great right around here. I wonder if we can. Oh, we don't really want to go over to this other space because it. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if we do because the the main spine of the the base is this one, right? This will take you all the way to the top and pretty much all the way to the bottom. So if we if we cap this off in here and then we put like some uh, some steam turbines and aqua tuner stuff in here, probably be okay. Fill it with cold sewage water. Um filling it with cold sewage water. I was going to put some, um, oh, I don't know if we can with the, uh, maybe we can. We'll need to leave, so we're going to, what? so what we're going to do is instead of, um, we're going to, we're going to always have a bit of gas in there because we need a little bit of hydrogen in there basically to keep the temperature regulated in there, right? It, without it, with the, if it goes, if it goes to a vacuum, um, we can't do anything like with the with the cooling or whatever. So we'll we'll have to put like a um, a sensor in there to see to make sure that we're not pumping all of it out. We'll just leave like a little bit in so that we can cool whatever is left in there and then just keep the uh, the chamber cool. And then when it when the when the geyser goes off, um, it will cool some of it as well, right? It's really just trying to keep the um, the pump cool. We don't really care too much about the uh, the hydrogen itself being hot or cold. It doesn't matter. Okay. 
Okay, what's the temperature like in here now? It's a bit better. It's still 150 <laughs> degrees in here, though. Oh, man. <laughs> All these ladders and stuff. That's good. Okay, this vent, we can deconstruct it. We'll just wait for it to cool down a little bit in here. How many cycles do we have? Oh, we got 50 cycles, so... Let's let some of this heat... Mix in with some of this um, colder stuff. I mean, it'll heat it up around here, but we can, uh, we'll cool it all down, right? It's a lot less hot than it, than it was around here, at least. There, even in here, we're cooling it down. All right, so we got 1,300 kilograms of steel, and we got 1,275 kilograms of iron. So much lumber. Oh, did this lumber stuff work? Yes. Alright, so now we want this to also take pip. Cuddle pip eggs and pip eggs as well. And this is, so the current count's 14. It's 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So we might need to just kill a couple of um, pips as well. Looks like we've caught up. So we got to kill two pips. It's a cuddle pip squeak. Okay, so as soon as one of these guys lays an egg, um, all of these things will activate, and not only will they pick up the egg, but they'll pick up as much lumber as they can as well, and uh, that'll just have to do. I mean, most of the lumber is shipped down here, just dropped in here now. Loads and loads of it, Jesus. Well, this means even more barbecue for us, because there's going to be loads of pip eggs. Because these things are just frickin' and frackin' all the time. We constantly have to go in here. That's another manual task that I don't need to do. So good. Still very hot. Oh, why is this output pipe full? Oh, it's because it's full depending on what we make, I think. It's not full if I make steel with this one, but it's full if I were to make iron or whatever, right? Snapcat band, what are you doing? Oh, delivering. God, that, th those are some mega loads of wood, right? Oh, the polluted water, the temperature's going up, look! It's at 8.3 degrees. <laughs> slow. It's slowly going up. This oxygen's still coming out at like 9 degrees. That's so good. That is really good. I think we'll have to double up uh, some of the insulation around this. Particularly, particularly, per, per, 
par particularly around the, the bottom. If we do, if we double it up along the bottom, then I can get some temp shift plates in here. And then I can get some, um, some metal in here as well. And then uh, we'll be able to suck up a ton of the heat from in here and blast it into here. And then we'll have another, um, another steam turbine up and running. Should be pretty good. All right, good. Research complete for now. Should probably need to collect some more data banks. Um, shipping, so for, in terms of rocketry, ah, uh, here's the telescope. Reveals visible planetoids in space. Assigned duplicates must possess the astronomy skill. Building must be exposed to space to function. There's the enclosed telescope. Reveals visible planetoids in space in comfort. Assigned duplicates must possess the astronomy skill excellent sunburn protection partial radiation protection building must be exposed to space to function this is the big one right so we can make this out of well we can make this out of whatever it doesn't matter because um uh we are not really expecting this to get hot especially if it's just in the vacuum of space right but in terms of uh, accessing this, how is it accessed? How do they get into it? So we'd have to build like the bottom bit here and then um, and then expose like the top. So we could actually make this maybe like over here, for example. And then you can you can close off the top. We've done this before, haven't we? There's a line where you can like um, so just the dome bit sticks out. Oh, it wants oxygen plugged into it as well. They just walk into the plug level. Yeah, it's worth to make a transit tube network for sure. Yeah, so especially like some of these, some of these places take a long time to get to. Like to get up to the top here, we'll probably make a transit tube entrance to get up, and then they can just slide down the pole to get back. For example, You guys, you guys just want to see the transit tube network, don't you? And who could blame you? Oh no, this thing is actually just full, and I'm, I'm not sure why. It's full for steel as well. So let's empty one pipe and see what uh, what the deal is. don't need any more dupes right now we got enough we're gonna actually we're running lower on food but we should be back to flush with the with barbecue uh, see look it's delivering lumber because we have critters critter count is nine ah uh, and critter count is nine because of this egg. So it's doing all the lumber first. Okay, I'm cool with that actually. If it wants to do the lumber first, because it's closer, that's fine by me. There's so much lumber going onto this <laughs> belt right now. 
Holy shit. We got 64,571 units of lumber. That is a lot of lumber. Okay, there's a bunch of other shit here too. Oh, it's dirt. It's their poop. It's their poop. Holy shit! Look at all the lumber in this one spot! Fuck! That's crazy! Alright, good. Uh, so we got those... Those eggs will go into the murder chamber before long, and that'll be fine, right? What's the temperature in here now? It's getting a little bit lower. It's it's coming down. It'll take a little while, but it's fine. We got we got time. All right. So if we want this to be um, connected in here, we're gonna want to double up on the insulation, like I said. So let's do a second bit of insulation. Here. It's only because I want to put some temp ship plates in here because I want to put the pump in here. Basically, I want to get the pump in underneath here put some temp shift plates in and then put some metal tiles as well right and then this separator that should be fine so then we can get all the heat in there very quickly i won't put the metal tile just yet and then over here we will have this built out to one two three four five just have it built out to here. Let me deconstruct this airflow tile. I'm gonna put in um, the mini gas pump here. I think that worked out really well last time. I'm going to put in the bottle emptier here. Because I think that worked out really well last time. And I also want to remove this wire. I think we'll have to use oil as coolant for this, right? Beard Daddy has been scalded because it's uh, so hot up here. Still 100 degrees, but it's gone down a lot, actually. It has gone down a lot. All of the Slicksters died. I let it get too cold, and they died. They're all gone. Okay, the lumber... Perfect. The lumber has all been picked up. Not only that... We're finally uh, controlling the amount of pips that we have. And we're sending all of their excess eggs to the murder chamber. But still producing dirt. So that we can farm uh, for all of eternity. Crudini, these guys are just chilling. They're, they're idle. There's nothing for them to do. I don't really have any tasks for them to do right now. I mean, I suppose we could get them uh, ranching. We could get them to build a, uh, a hatch ranch and get a kitchen set up so that they can start doing some cooking. It could be nice. Let's concentrate on one thing at a time. <laughs> We have to just concentrate on one thing at a time, I think. Oh, 
Ah, oh, man, it's still so hot in here. It's still way too hot in there. Alright, let's get some water here. Oh, it's a circle of life. Yeah, ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba do. Still not hot enough in there. This pipe output is still too much. Get rid of three then and see if it improves things a little. Well, somebody tried. Someone tried their best. Oh, we gotta be careful with this water over here actually, because it is quite hot in here. It could, it could, uh, it could suddenly flash some steam. Alright, so we're gonna make a gas pump here out of steel. And this is going to pump all of the hydrogen out. And it can just go up to here all the same. I'll be careful in there because it's hot. They're not scalding in 60 degree heat, at least. Seventy four is the scold temp. Oh, okay, seventy four. So if people are going to go into outer space, which it would be good if they could, we're going to want to have um, an airlock, right? With the Atmo suit dock and an Atmo suit checkpoint, which means that we're going to have to build it like here, here. Maybe here, here. Okay, fine. I think three is enough for up here just for now. We can always, uh, we can always extend it. We can move it. We can move it out. Move it in. Dolphin Deer is freezing cold. OK, 
Okay, good. So, we want to get some... Ventilation. So this can be... Removed. Same with this vent. And then let's continue building this um, pole up to here, too. We could also make this entire ladder out of plastic, since we have so much plastic. Uh, like, we have an insane amount of plastic. That's if they need to come down here, but... Um, well, I guess for now we can... We can upgrade it, it's fine. Why not, eh? It's like the main... Uh, like the main spine of the whole colony. And uh, we could put uh, transit tubes to get up there eventually too. Making floors out of plastic speeds them up too? Oh wow. You can you can actually make oh plastic tile. Used to build the walls and floors of rooms significantly increases duplicate run speed. Oh shit, I didn't even oh my god. So we could make our floors out of plastic? I didn't even know you could do that, it's amazing. Look how fast they go down the pole as well. You we could create a masterpiece in space, yeah, absolutely. I would love to make a masterpiece in space. Plastic everything? Oh, I would love that. Plastic everything. Um, cooking, suit wearing, and operating. Uh, an early bird narcoleptic plus 12 machinery operator and binge eater on stress reaction. Algae. I'll take the algae. Um, what's it, what, what am I watching tonight? Andor or Shogun? What, what should I watch? Shogun is better, but not by much. So they're both... Oh, man. I've got some great TV ahead of me. God, I really enjoyed Fallout. I could... Uh, I, I enjoyed it so much that I'm one of those people who searched immediately for when is season two coming out. <laughs> I mean, I know. Like, the first season been out for, like, three days. I thought uh, I thought Goggins was so good as um, the uh, the ghoul guy. Fucking awesome! Really great. I 
Do you know, I did not like Goggins in the shield. But, uh, well, I mean, I thought he was... I thought he was good in the shield. I think you're meant you're meant to hate him in the shield because his character is such an asshole in the shield. But um, it kind of like his he played the character so well that actually it made me doubt him as an actor a bit unfairly. I would say Is the fire pole made out of plastic? No, it's made out of copper. I don't know if you can make the fire pole out of plastic. It'd be neat if you could, actually. Um, right, so we need to get some uh, drywall in here, too. And then, what is... Uh, I guess we could just get a mechanized door. Mechanized door, or should we just do a... Um, should we do a little... Um, Airlock. I guess we could just do a little airlock, right? As long as it's a plastic door. God, they get up here so fast with the plastic. <laughs> Look at them go! We're gonna want to deliver some suits up here too. So we're gonna need to make, what, three suits? But there's a new uh, there's a new HBO show with Kate Winslet in it too. What's it called again? The Parper? The Regime? Any good? You watched two episodes and you didn't like it, Dowie? Okay. I'll take your word for it. I feel like Dowie is pretty trustworthy. Alright, this is going down... It, part of it is below um, Scalding, so it, we shouldn't be too far off there, actually. Um, we're going to need to run some power up here. Run some heavy watt wire up to the top would be really nice, actually. Um, we're going to want to get a little bridge in here. Conductive wire bridge. I need to make some more iron because we're out. We have 1,850 kilograms of steel though, which is fantastic. And it looks like possibly this has worked. It's pretty full up. Okay, good. You also thought three body problem was ridiculous? All right, Dowie, I don't agree with you on that one. Uh, Three-body problem was amazing. I thought it was so good. <laughs> I loved it. It was, it was the perfect amount of ridiculous. I thought it was great. What's the issue here? Unreachable dig? How come? They won't go out into where there's space exposure? 
So we need to make some uh, drywall. What do you want to use? Chili red? Charcoal checkers? Arge wedge. Drywall or fresh white? I think up here, let's use fresh white. Drywall needs um, just granite. Clearance always permitted. What the heck is going on here? Hmm. I can't uh, deconstruct this for some reason. Maybe I just gotta put a ladder here or something? You don't want to put me off Masters of the Air. It's a good show, but you were disappointed by it. Yeah, I need to check that one out, too. Uh, my, uh... I keep forgetting uh, that Apple uh, TV is a, uh, is a thing. Ladder. Oxygen. Ladder. Liquid pipe. Oh, I don't want to deconstruct the liquid pipe. Just in case. Why well, do I actually? Maybe I do want to deconstruct all these liquid pipes. I don't need this liquid pipe here. Maybe maybe it's high time we did deconstruct this liquid pipe. Do we have any pip eggs? What's this? What is this? What the hell is this thing? Can you, are you, can you see that? Oh, it's a dupe happy reaction. Oh, what, like spray painting or something. Holy crap, our dupes are that happy? It's amazing. Dow, you are the best groomer. <laughs> okay, what is going on here? How come I can't... Uh, what? Why is this unreachable? Duplicates cannot reach this construction site. Why? It's, it's just here. They can't get past the checkpoint. They should be able to. Vacancy only. Always permitted. If I disable this... No, I don't want them to use the suits yet. I was just setting the suits up for when we do want to use the suits. I, I don't actually want them to use it right now. They only need to come up here for like a split second, so it's... There we go. That was the thing. Holy crap. Okay, the suits are ready. Job Gallus. Alright, we need some more drywall in here. We 
window tile, plastic tile, metal tile, bunker tile. Bunker tile, we gotta make them out of steel, but it's fine. We don't really have to. I mean, insulated tile doesn't matter up here e either, right? Oh, but wait. So we have to make... So I have to remove this drywall? Why are you standing here? Are you stuck or something? Oh, he's idle. Yeah, I think this is how he dies. He's running out of uh, oxygen up here already. Okay. Did we make... Um, Yes, we did. Okay, perfect. So that's fine. And then this, which is connecting to this, this power, we're going to run it down like that. And then let's just put another little bridge here. And then we can run the, uh, the heavy watt up to the top. And then we just need to get some oxygen up here. It shouldn't be a problem either. needed. Same with this crap. Alright, good. Man, these tubes are so fast. Yeah, we're on cycle 510. Nuts, eh? We've been doing pretty good. Okay, let's... Uh, let's look to dig all this out. Take apart some of this stuff too. Would be good, right? It's a big job, but it'll uh, it'll get, send some heat up here too, which is nice. How is Crudini? Fine. They're not doing anything on Crudini. They're just—it's like a vacation over there. I haven't really done anything over there because we're trying to get some stuff done here right now. It's 86. It's still—it's still scalding temperature, but 
it's definitely cooling off. Salt water, doctoring, athletics. There's a pip egg in here. There's a cuddle pip egg in here as well. Nice. Okay, good. Hopefully you get some barbecue rolling. Deconstruct this now. And just liquid carbon dioxide. I don't think anything's actually venting right now. So we close this all off. Yeah, the door's gone, it's fine. It's, uh, I've put drywall in to uh, stop any of the venting happening here. It should be fine. Although it does look like it's still venting, but I don't think it is. I don't think there's anywhere for it to vent, right? It would say vacuum behind all the buildings. Sus? Excuse me. There's liquid chlorine here as well. It got so cold. It's minus 50 degrees here, so we have to find some liquid that isn't just going to uh, immediately freeze. Although, if we can get some heat up here, it would be fine, right? We need some super coolant. I guess this granite tile is quite hot. There, look. Yeah, there's airlock doors. I might we might just end up using one for now. Just to uh make it a bit easier. Alright, so we wanna make uh, a mechanized airlock. Out of aluminum? No, let's just make this out of copper, it's fine.
I'm gonna make some plastic tiles up here too. It's gonna be nice. Everybody's too busy doing all this. We have a suit. Oh, can you not? You can't plug heavy watt directly into um, one of these doors. Whoops. Doodly doo. We've got a plastic tile. It's because the door has an EU plug. Must be, yeah. Those flipping EU plugs. Look at all the igneous rock and dirt and igneous. There's still so much stuff at the top here to feed our stone hatches with. They love it. They're loving it. Who's stressed out? Giso is now stressed. 60%. Okay, we'll assign him to the massage table. Try to dump some of this stress. Erica's making a barbecue. Nice. One, one barbecue. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, let's make um, a little ladder here. 
dupes can go out here with spacesuits now. Into space. How exciting is that? Wow. Okay, the temperature's uh, finally starting to come down in there, and then we can get to work. We'll have more than enough time to finish it. Oh. elsewhere. I'll probably um, dig over to the side here, I'd have thought. Is there space weed? No. None. You're not allowed to have it. It's banned. Okay, well, we're plowing through... Um, actually, the whole base is being kept up by these uh, hydrogen generators. And when the hydrogen runs out, then the, um, the ethanol petroleum generators can kick in. So that's fine. This guy's just going to drown himself in polluted water here, which we're fine with as well. For now. Um, and we sorted out... We don't have to manually check on this anymore. We don't have to manually kill the pips anymore either. So actually... Oh! Spicy tofu! Okay, we have to deliver the spicy tofu to this guy, right? No, no, don't eat it! What sandwich? Don't do it! Okay, good. Whoever this is, Gallus is taking it. Deliver. He's eating it. The hermit loved his food. He wants more food. <laughs> There's more coming down. Oh, the hermit is unimpressed. Oh, this meal has been offered before? It doesn't give me uh, another option. Deliver three unique foods. Quality must be greater, plus four, higher. Oh, okay. So we need uh, a, a plus four or higher, another plus four higher food. Okay, I wasted one on him. I, didn't, I should have read that. All right, we're getting there. How many people have we lost? We've lost four people. We lost uh, Zircoke, Bluebo very early on, and then today we lost Sunforest and Hralane. We lost both of them. But you know what? You wouldn't really notice it, honestly, because the, the colony is still running really well. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Everything is just going really well. So who cares about those guys that we lost, you know? You want to see the colonization effort on the other planet? Look, it's, it's so sustainable. They got enough food, they got enough oxygen, and then when we need them to do other stuff, they can do it. We've got a farmer and a cook. We got a cook who isn't currently cooking anything. We do have an electric grill, but we're kind of waiting for these things to uh, come online. 
13 cycles and six cycles and then we'll have some uh some power chat i gotta go it's uh it's it's time for me to to make my my leave but listen we did good today man we got a lot done we really got a lot done uh, we are, we're making some headway into, um, doing stuff on the surface and then potentially getting into, uh, into space. The colony's pretty big and for the most part, very livable as well. Well, we don't even need, they don't even need masks anymore. Like it, it's all oxygen up here. There's a lot of polluted oxygen that we still need to deal with, but we can, uh, deal with it when it gets higher up here as we're digging up, right? Enjoy Shogun or Curb time. So behind on Curb, actually. Thanks for reminding me. I need to watch it. Chat voted for Andor. Okay. Um, so that's where we're at. And uh, we did some stuff over on Crudini as well. And uh, we got the uh, the planetarium thing. So it, it's slow progress. But, um, but we got uh, a lot of stuff done, like I said. And we're currently uh, taming this hydrogen vent, finally. So it'll be one less thing to uh, to look after and worry about. The, uh, the other steam vents are, are tamed and we're cooling them down and getting water. And um, this is all cooling down really nicely too. Look at that. It's a, I mean, it's an industrial area and look how cold it is. It's nice. Um, so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll play for a bit tomorrow. And then I think in the afternoon we're going to play some more Planet Crafter with uh, Hat Films. Um, but failing that, we'll just play more of this. But I'm, I, I think that is the uh, that is the plan, as far as I know. Chat, have a good one. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the resubs. Thanks for the gift subs. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for the supers. Thanks for watching on YouTube and Twitch. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, have a good uh, rest of your Monday, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning for some more gaming. Then, yes. All right, chat. LOL, lots of love. See you then. Peace. Bye now. Bye.